three things. That's right. There's three I will give you the floor, my sir. That I need to... Uh, is it two or three? All right. I know of two, so I don't All right. I'll listen with Three you. things. The first... Number one. Before I forget, and I don't know if he's here tonight. He's always uh, like, Where is he? I don't, I don't see, him. see him. Maybe, uh, I don't know if Maybe he's got a different name or yeah, yeah. whatnot. But um, we have the best fans. Well, you do. Friends. They just kind of pretend they're in the like world. Me. No, 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 no. Next to you every week. We have the best fans, friends in the world. Yes. Yesterday, I put up a very quick post on Facebook. I'm sure a lot of you guys didn't see it, yeah. and I won't even get into it. I mean, you know, John replied John Morgan John Morgan replied to one of our the thread and came through in a huge, huge way for us yesterday. Within and, seconds. Uh, he was within seconds. Talked to him on Facebook and uh, dude, I said it on Facebook. We say it right here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You came through Great and uh, you are a good dude. Also yes. honorable mention Honorable mention goes to you. Ian Oh, we keep thinking it's Jonesy, but it's not. It's Ian, uh... Mitchell? Mitchell. I couldn't tell you. I want to say Mitchell. I never got to see the name. Honorary so mention to uh, him as well. It's who Dean offered, Mitchell. I'm it's sure. Uh, Ian, Ian, Dude, Ian. We kept calling him Ian Jonesy. Ian but uh, there, Ian there was another guy that, uh, that, that came through. So, John Morgan and Ian, uh, both of you guys. So, even though Ian, we, uh, we didn't, I mean... John came through first, so big, huge respect to uh, John Morgan. I will never forget that dude, and uh, you know that you know we we did it in in a way where everything worked out, and uh, we were good to go. So major, yes. major props to you. The second thing that I want to talk about number two. What was number two? You said you knew two things. I those two names is what I thought the two things were. Oh, the oh the second thing I want to talk about is traffic. On the websites, yeah, uh, and and advertising rates as well. I, I am, I'm, I'm telling you, this is the worst month. The month of May has been the worst month oh. that I think I've had in over five years, uh, easily as far as advertising rates. You guys see it tonight. Look in the chat room. There's not a lot of people here. Uh, I've got an in live uh, account where I can see how many people are on the website. I view the traffic stats for WZRonline.com. And, and WZR is a website that averages, uh, you've seen it, about 12,000 uniques per day. On an average day. On an average day. Plenty of days. And, and then Mondays, yeah. Tuesdays. So There's the reason why we do this show uh, on Tuesday. Go. John Morgan uh, is at work and said he will listen to the replay. That's from Winner's Lair. Awesome. He's he is. You are a great, great yeah. guy. And Winner's Lair is too. I'm Rye Rye I see in there all, all of these guys. Rye 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 Winner's Lair. All you guys that are that are here on a weekly basis. You're all awesome. But uh, I'll, I'll never forget what he did yesterday. So big ups to him. Um, so traffic. I mean, we normally average you know twelve thousand uniques a day. You know. Uh, close to 100,000 page views at times, right. you know, so on, on Monday and Tuesday. It's so, it's just, I mean, it's going from like 12,000 to like 8,000, 7 or 8,000 on a, uh, so, and and then you see, so you like, like, like a third of your track. Like, like last week, with the raw ratings are down. And it's not just me. I've contacted other owners of wrestling websites, and they're saying the exact same thing. Like, what? Where is the traffic? And I think the WWE product sucks a bit. That I mean, and it's we've got post WrestleMania lull. We always you have. always get that but after that WrestleMania. Wears off by about now. Yeah, once you get you into May, get back to normal. You get that lull every year yeah. after WrestleMania. You get that lull, but then it comes back. Yeah. And There's maybe, John Morgan. maybe uh, there he is. Maybe it will with payback. John Morgan. With with payback coming up this Sunday, and then we've got the Elimination Chamber that they announced last night, but. It's, a, it's not just WZR and PWS. It's all pro wrestling websites, man. It's all, you Look at you sweating. It's hot, man. You want to open a window? It's not cool outside. It is. Uh, a cold front came through. Right. A cold front came through. And uh, what's that cord, though? Um, but, cord but, yeah, yeah so, so hopefully, I mean, we've got payback, so every everything I'm, I'm sure will wind up working out. But, man, I'm just wondering why, you know, traffic is so goddamn low these days. It's, it's brutal, man. It's brutal, you know? It's cold out, right? It's a fucking spider. Look at that. A spider? A huge spider. We'll Look kill it. it. 
It's on the outside. Oh, well, flick them off. Well, what if it's on the inside? No, flick them. Give them a flick. <laughs> yeah, you, I'm not afraid of spiders, man. You want me to flick them off? If you flick them off and he runs in my room, I'm gonna he's gonna grass. he's gonna go in the grass out oh, there. Oh, he's in here, man. Oh, oh, Jesus! Let me get over there. No, no, no. Will you cover and let me get over die. there? Die. All right. Well, we're gonna open this other window. Man. I'm smothered. You're such a pussy. It's a spider. I gotta fucking live in here, man. It's a spider. It was a big one. Did oh. you see? It? Stop it. Wasn't like a little black spider that called out. That was like a big one with legs longer than you. It's a spider. Hey. It is cold. Don't act tough just because you're not afraid of spiders. No, I'm All right. I, I'm deathly afraid of snakes. I'll beat your ass and I'm still scared of spiders. Spiders. Uh, spiders? <laughs> <laughs> spiders? I don't I don't have a problem with spiders. I don't like them. Snakes. Oh, I hate snakes. Freak. Oh, oh God. God. I, I scream like a girl. Me too. I scream and you run. Remember the oh, Suzanne? Oh, Suzy oh. Q. Yes. Do you remember going to her house? She saw it was like a pet dog to her almost. We went a snake. She's like, oh, there's a snake. We went to Step her. Right over. We we went to her house, and there's a big, big snake yeah. on the sidewalk. And We're driving was, around the golf cart. We get back to her house. Right. And right. You have to, to get to her front door. There's a walkway, like like sidewalk. Yes. That curves. And then when you right. get there, there's a step up and the door. <coughs> right. So right before the step up, so you have to step up. The yeah. snake is laying right, and it was a big-ass snake. A big up. snake. Yeah. And you had to step in a, over. In a ball. Yeah. Curled <laughs> up. Yeah. Woo. My heart never be so fast she in my says, life. She says, just walk on by it. It'll, it'll move. Yeah. It'll, it'll scoot out she of the way. right there, and I was like, look, he's <laughs> not going to do nothing. I, I he wrestles been. alligators, too. You know that? She's crazy. Crazy. And she's crazy. hot, too. She's pretty hot. Yeah. I like a chick like that. Yeah. Fun. Like an outdoor, fun yeah. type chick that's she's not fun. afraid of, you know what I mean? I'm not a very outdoorsy person. But no, you're not. <laughs> she brings it out of me. Like, you hang around certain girls and they make you kind of... Right, right. Take you out of your comfort shell. So anyway, we went from WZR online PWS traffic to snakes and, and spiders. spiders and everything. Girls. But anyways, that feels good, though. You can feel that, right? I feel a little yeah, it is bit. Good. But, uh, so anyway, so that's the second thing. The third thing Number I want to talk about is... Oh, that I'm not drinking? I got a Pepsi here. A Pepsi? Mm. A Pepsi? I'm trying to cut back on my drinking. What's going on, bro? You know, it's WZR. It's Tuesday night. Well, I we don't drink. seem like I got enough pep without it. Hey, you're doing great. All right. Hope you're Congratulations, but Thank it's you. Tuesday night, and it's WZR TV, and we drink beers here. Normally. On a Tuesday night. I don't feel like drinking. One day out of the week, though? I don't know if I'm drinking. There's a uh, pay-per-view on Saturday. I'll drink with you uh, for that. You know what I think it is? What do you think? Fat? I think, I think it, it is a... soda. That's it just is, as bad. No, I get it. But it's a very <laughs> sensitive issue with you, What's with that? the, weight, the weight? weight issue. Oh, yeah. And there's been people in the chat room that... Well, you don't realize how big... Well, you do realize how big I can get. I've seen you. And this is usually how it starts, so I don't... Throw back the ponytail. I'm not doing all that. <laughs> I'm trying to at least stay clean cuff fat instead of this gross hairy so, fat. So, listen, I'm not, I'm, uh, I'm off. Dude, props. Props, brother. I mean, he's not drinking tonight. I'm, I'm I haven't drinking been drinking days. It's uh, been about five or six days yeah. since, you've had a, uh, since you've had a beer. I'm Left drinking. to you. But anyway, so if you're in the chat room that tonight. That was the third thing you wanted to talk about. That was it. There's no beers. That's well, every, everybody's going to wonder where your beers are tonight. That's a good point. They play they, drinking, they, they games, drinking games. I'm sorry, guys. Everything. Well, there's your new yeah. rule then. Well, yeah. what? Every if time. Boone doesn't drink, then you have to take two shots. If Boone does drink, you take one something. You know? Turning them into alcoholics, man. Hey, listen, you know? They came up with a game. I'm just trying to help spruce it up a bit. What happened here? Oh, it was so funny. You know how I sleep on the floor sometimes instead right. of the bed there on the mattress? Yeah. Just so the fan reaches me, because the fan doesn't reach me from there if it's hot, and I don't want to waste electricity with the air conditioner. Right. So anyways, I'm on the floor, and it's dark, and you know, there's no cover on the front of that fan. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. can't just reach back and oh, grab it no. and stick your hand Oh, out. no, it got it got so on my face. So oh. I go to turn around and grab it, and when I go to turn around, I lose my balance, and it was like a seesaw effect. My face went <laughs> toot, right into the ground. That's carpet burn. Oh, my face man. went down and dragged That's like even that. worse. Yeah, oh, man, rug burn is terrible, yeah, man. It looks bad. Terrible. But anyway, uh, so those are the three things that I wanted to talk about. It, it would have uh, been a funny visual if you could see it, though, because, I mean, I was, like, on my knees trying to reach for the fan in the dark. I'm trying to reach under it so I don't stick my hand in the open blade. Right, right. And I'm right. reaching, and I just go, poof, right yeah. down on my fucking face. Yeah. So anyway, uh, you know what? There's one more thing that I want, and then we'll move yeah, on. Here to comes the rock. dick sucking jokes in the chat. That's not, well, not, not for me. But anyway, uh, we're moving. 
we're we're yes. gonna be out of this place uh, awesome. here fairly soon. Uh, within the next month, month and a half, uh, working on getting probably gonna rent a uh, house here. So uh, we're gonna be moving. So. I don't think we're going to miss a week or two. I mean, we it's probably going to be done on a weekend, something like that. But uh, we're going to be out of here, and we're going to have a new set and, and everything else. Not really Hopefully a new set. Hopefully it's nicer. But Who knows? It'll be nicer. It'll be much nicer. It won't be as messy as this, uh, this you place. You can't really right tell now. how messy on the camera shot. It's just a bunch of t-shirts. Well, your room is great. Your room is great. Well, I keep it clean. The rest of the place yeah. is a wreck with the two kids running around. The only thing you can else. complain about my room is, like, see the door, the smoke on the door, the smoke on the blinds, the smoke on the wall. Right, right. Pretty much right. it's a lot like the fan like yeah. there's smoke everywhere yeah. but so anyway all right so here's what we're going to do we're going to do the normal you notice how, how smoky the shirts look no just put them in the uh, yeah. washer <laughs> wash them and dry them you know it's yeah. ridiculous that's <coughs> so anyways uh we're going to do our normal uh normal thing tonight we're going to run down uh monday night raw raw in uh Is it last night a good show or the week before last night was decent Okay. Last night I'm gonna have to, we're going to have to run through it. I don't remember. That Triple H came back. Sami Zayn last night or the week before? The week before. Okay. The week before. So maybe it was the week before, I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. I, well, the last two weeks were pretty... I mean, last yeah. night wasn't all that bad. It wasn't and terrible it was the, last It night. was the go-home show for Payback. Go-home show for right. Payback coming up so uh, this Sunday. Predictions. Yeah, we've got the uh, Fatal 4 one. Paper? I don't, but I can grab it during the break. Uh, i got a paper right here. Yeah. All right. And I got you got a pen for me? i got something to write with. It's not a uh, stack line, uh, lineup. I think there's only about six matches that have been confirmed. They're taping uh, WWE SmackDown right now in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Check the uh, time there. Uh, they are East Coast time. So for those of you guys anywhere on the East Coast, it's not going to be a late night. Uh, sometimes, you know, when they're on the West Coast, you got to stay up until 1, 2 o'clock in the morning to get the, uh, the SmackDown spoilers. Thank you, buddy. Uh, you got to stay awake until 1, 2 o'clock in the morning to get... Uh, SmackDown Spoilers, it's not going to be the case tonight, they should be out by 10.30, 10.45 Eastern Time, somewhere around there, so early we'll have them up, yeah, early yeah. in the night, have them up on, uh, on WZOnline.com. Um, Monday Night Raw, so we're going to do that in our numero uno, and then in our numero dos, okay. taking your live phone calls, doing the rapid fire, Jackie, I know she's got a lot she's to talk about with, talk, yeah. she's been all over my Twitter feed today, too. years too. What, uh, what's some of the... I'm trying to think of some of the breaking stories. The fight, Canelo and Kirkland. That's I know not it's a not a story. breaking yeah, story. Yeah, it was a good fight, man. My God, man. Yeah. Three rounds. You saw more in those three rounds than what you saw in the entire Mayweather-Pacquiao fight. You saw more in those three rounds HBO. than you've seen in Pac Mayweather's entire career. Uh, not dude. Pacquiao's, but Mayweather's. Kirkland got knocked down once in the first round, and then the third round knockout by Canelo yep. was, oh, dude, it was brutal. Oh, Canelo was only like 26, his record's like 46-1-1. One one. Like They're saying he's, like, he's the next big thing, right? They think he's the next big draw. I think so, too. Yeah. I and think so, the too. The question is, can he beat all the top guys? And he's beaten, I mean, he's beaten Sugar Shane Mosley. Right, right. right? He gave Floyd a decent, you know, a decent fight, you know, as good as you can give Floyd. Right. Uh, Destroyed Kirkland, not the biggest name, but a mm -hmm. known name. And there's a couple no other name. names in there that he's he's beating the shit out. What are they saying? Uh, Mayweather and Cotto, is it? No, they already it's did that. Mayweather and uh, oh, I don't who's know. Um, Al Aguila, Chris Aguila, or something like that. I thought it was. I thought they were going to do Cotto again with with Mayweather. Maybe was it? Isn't that I what they're he talking just about? Did that though? Was Freddie Roach coaching him and shit? You guys in the chat room will, uh, will know, yeah, but fun. but Mayweather's next fight. I thought they were talking about Cotto. Maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm mistaken there. But if you know, let us know in the uh, in the chat room. The buy rate for that pay per view is still not out yet, yes. but um, it's out. They emailed me today. Four point four. Are you serious? Domestic. Oh, so my we don't God. even have the international. It's going to be like six, Are you serious? six or more million. Yeah, yeah. I made a four hundred million dollars off the uh, gate in the pay per view. I believe it was four point four million. Yeah, and uh, wow. Mayweather wow. made two hundred and fifty million. Wow. Pacquiao made like one twenty, one twenty five million for the fight for thirty minutes of boxing. Thirty six minutes of boxing. Thirty six yeah. minutes of boxing. So oh my god! Four I can't believe they don't have the new Mayweather million. opponent in there. You think they're that? I didn't know that. Wow, four point four million people bought that domestic. 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 Yeah, man. So we don't know anything overseas. We have none of those numbers. Well, some of them are free over there. Or like Not free, but like part of a pay channel. Well, Mexico. They said the entire country of Mexico, yeah. they were getting it free. Right. And I remember when we do UK streams, they have like commercials that cut in. So I think they do... I think it's like an HBO kind of channel where you have to pay to get the channel. 
But if you pay for the channel, you get premium events like big boxing matches. I'm like, guessing. Like you said, HBO and yeah. Showtime over here, right, where if you pay that. Yeah, wow, that's crazy, yeah. man. All right, that's so crazy. the number I was wrong. That doesn't include live gate. 4.4 4 million buys times $100 a buy would be $440 million. So that was just uh, the pay-per-view revenue. That's but they set the press release really touting real. that they broke all social media records, all pay-per-view records, all revenue sales. records. Live gate records, yeah. like they broke yeah. every record you can imagine. Oh my god, the biggest dude. fight in history that financially and otherwise. Crazy. I mean, the, the the cheapest ticket to get into the building. I mean, you're talking like all the way to the top of the arena, paying like over a grand you for those tickets. Several hundred at least. Yeah. I for thought the I thought place. it was like a grand, probably for the cheapest ticket. Probably. It's crazy. There were people in the front row or something like that paying like Six 70, seventy-five thousand 75, to a hundred thousand. Yeah, 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 dude, it was crazy. But, so anyway, uh, so our numero dos, we're going to be taking your live phone calls, and uh, we'll do rapid fire as well, chit-chat with you guys, and uh, take your live questions out of the chat. With his winnings, too. he could probably buy the Philippines. He could buy a Pacquiao Philippi- country and become the king and be like, now you... That's a quarter of a billion dollars, bro. In a one fight. billion. It's not like, oh, that's his total earnings. Like, he's made money, like, he's made, uh, he's had fights where he's made 70 million, 80 million in a fight, I remember him. Instagramming a check for seventy million for one fight, you got to think that guy's close to a billionaire, if not already. He's got to be because he's got outside this. ventures. He's got filthy rich records. He's got uh, the Mayweather boxing. But he uh, spends like a fucking promotion. Fee. Yeah, yeah, yeah he I does. mean, he spends like crazy. Hey, listen, know? if you're gonna make the money, you might as well enjoy it. I, Especially yeah. if you got that goddamn much. It's not yeah, like you can't spend a few mil and still I have know. half a bill locked away somewhere. It is gonna be taxed. So you're gonna have to yeah, pay taxes, and he's in a high that. tax bracket, so he probably gets taxed like yo, he like gets sixty percent or some crazy, shit. Crazy, right, yeah. right, right. I don't know how that works, but but he's still. I mean, think about think about one million dollars, uh, a million dollar. Yeah. Oh my god, a million dollars! What fucker makes two hundred and fifty? Yeah. In 36 minutes. Well, not normally, but for that fight he did. Yeah, even yeah. still, normally he'll make. 60 to 80. When it's all said and done with the pay per view points and all the advertising and sponsors, he probably makes over 100 mil every fight. Uh, That's why he's only got to fight two or three times a year. And then he's the highest paid athlete on planet Earth, and Howard Stern, my other hero, is the highest paid entertainer on Uh, Earth. Stern was on uh, Letterman last night. We watched it. And Don Rickles. And Don Rickles, too. Epic appearance. Awesome. And I hate the word epic. I think it's gay to say it. Yeah. But there's no other word to describe it. It was an epic scene to see Howard Stern. Don Rickles and David Letterman. And David Letterman was like the afterthought. Yeah. Rickles just kept saying, Now, Dave, shut up. I'll get to you in a minute. Yeah. Fucking yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. The Rickles is the man when he's he awesome. riffing on people. Yeah, that was what was best great. for business last night yeah, for man. Letterman, man. And Letterman he knew what that. to He's like, Hey, it's entertaining. I'll kick back and just let him yeah, do Letterman's it. Letterman's done next Wednesday. That's it. I know. Letterman is gone, man. I know. He's gone. All right, let's get these plugs out of the way. Then we'll get into Monday Night Raw from last night. Real, real quick, are you a. <coughs> We'll talk to new guys, but for the old school, mm. Letterman or Leno? Letterman. Oh, you do like Letterman better? Absolutely. Thank God. And if you threw Conan in the mix, would oh. it be Letterman, Leno, or Conan? Conan. Conan. As a kid, I would have said Conan. When I got older, I would switch to Letterman. Now, the new guys, Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, or Jimmy. who's the other guy? Uh, Craig Ferguson. No. Uh, the guy from Conan. Conan's Saturday still on Live. TBS. Saturday Night Live. Well, Conan too. The guy oh, from, um, Seth, Seth uh, Myers. Myers. Which one of those? Seth Myers. Pick? Fallon or Kimmel, probably. Kimmel. 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 I watch. I watch Kimmel every night. But I will give it up. Jimmy Fallon is pretty fucking good, and I, I think, didn't think yeah. Fallon was going to be good. I didn't either. But he's good. I think. But, I think Kimmel has the better show, better interviews. He's funnier, in my opinion. But. Fallon has the he's got great bits. Yeah, yeah. Like it's like a bunch of a- SNL sketches. And you like got really good ones. You got to put Conan up there too, but he's on like TBS. Well, so then you got to think Lorne Michaels is backing uh, Fallon. Right, right. So they're gonna get the best guests. They're gonna get the best production. And they've got NBC and everything else. And they else. got NBC. Well, Kimmel them. Kimmel's got ABC. True. You know? Kimmel's got ABC. Yeah. And uh, Myers is taking over for Letterman, I believe. Right? He has a stutter. No, uh, a guy taking over for Letterman is uh, John Stewart's dude. Uh, the nerdy guy. He looks like Bob Saget. Oh, I don't... Uh, uh, I can't read. Somebody in the chat room. What the fuck is it. his name? That's going to bug you. Stephen Colbert. Stephen Colbert. Yeah, that's he's taking over. Right, right, Letterman right. said he had no input. They didn't even ask him. Who's really? Wow, that's fucked up. Man. That's fucked up. But uh, anyway, I watch Kimmel every night, so I'm a big fan of Kimmel. I love Kimmel. All right, let me get these plugs out of the way. Let's get into Monday Night Raw from last night. Kimmel was on Stern yesterday. 
Was he? He co-hosted the whole show with He's him. funny, man. Sat in for the He's whole funny. show because the ABC upfronts were... Uh, so he was in New York. WWE's is uh, Thursday, yep. by the way. Um, all right, or USA Networks. It's NBC Thursday. U, yeah. Right. All right, uh, uh, check out the official website, the official home of WZR TV, Tuesdays, WZRonline.com. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as well. Go to Facebook.com slash WZR Army, YouTube.com slash WZR Archive. We're on Twitter as well. All you got to do is go to WZRonline.com, top navigation bar, social media tab. It's got a drop-down box. It's got all the links to Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, WZRonline.com, the official home of WZR TV, Tuesdays. Live chat room on in progress every Tuesday night from 8 to 10 Eastern Time. How can they get there? They can go to www.wzronline.com slash chat wzronline.com slash chat. Yes, sir. Lots and lots <laughs> of people in there tonight. Picking up slowly. I think our hour two will be rocking. Chat. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, at hopefully. least there's a scroll bar now, so you got to scroll to True. see <laughs> We're making progress, yeah, it's bro. Getting there. All right, so, Monday Night Raw from last night. I know you said, when, as we recap it, yes. come on in. Uh-oh. Oh, there it goes. All right. Um, so, the big news coming out of the show, Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Daniel and Bryan scooped that back. right before the... Uh, he did. You had told yeah. me. Yeah. And I ran with the report based on what you said. And you were right. We, uh, I, I mean, you full credit. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get story. to it here in just a second. But this guy broke it. They kicked it off. Yes. Um, Triple H. Uh, well, a limo, a limo arrives yes. backstage, and you see somebody coming out of the limo, and uh, you see somebody coming out, and I'm thinking maybe Vince or somebody like that. You never know. Down, well, I thought it was down, them down because they were advertised to return. Did you run on cue? Yeah, yeah, baby. Uh, cooler if you don't acknowledge Yeah, I talk over like, no big deal. Yeah, I know. But anyway, uh, so Triple H gets out of the limo. No Stephanie. I thought Stephanie no Steph- was, yeah, uh, was yeah. going to be there, you know? But Did she show up later, though, right? She was not a wall. She was No, 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 no She might be doing one of them Eisenhower things again or whatever. As she may be at the upfronts, but well, that's she had not mentioned on say, Jericho that she was going to be back doing all that Egypt, Europe, this. Oh, and that, yeah, you're right. Whatever, you're called, right. You're right. Our fellow, whatever. Yeah, it is. right, 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 right. Yeah, so so uh, Triple H comes out to the ring and says, uh, "Daddy's back, or yeah. Daddy's home." When the kids are gone, when Daddy's gone, the kids will go awry, something like that. And now Daddy's home. But all hell breaks loose when Daddy's gone. Out. Yeah, right? something like so that. So I'm back, and I want to get things straight yes. right now. Over the last couple of weeks, like you said, all hell yes. breaks loose, right? So uh, bickering in the house there. He wants Seth Rollins and Kane and of course James to the ring security come with him. Right now. Yes. Right? So Correct. Seth Seth is out first, right? And he's heated. Uh, he is he is heated. And basically says that over the course of the last couple of weeks, Kane has, you know, made a, a Fatal Four Way um, and, and Payback coming up this Sunday, and he's been putting him in all these matches that he should be in. This, that, and the other thing, right? So as he's going on and on and on, Kane's music hits. Yeah, Kane I'm comes. Kane, <laughs> Kane comes to the ring, right? And Kane basically says, you know, Rollins, uh, I should bitch smack you like the little. Whatever you are, something you know, like that, something, yeah. something like that. So they go back and forth, and Triple H has had enough. It's just knocking it off, shut yeah. up, or something. It was like almost that. like back when. Uh, do you remember when Ric Flair and Kurt Angle would have the woo off? Yeah. Woo, <laughs> woo, <laughs> woo, woo, and then Triple H. Enough, enough, enough. I, stop I, it. I gotta be honest with you, man. I, I, when Kane, when he gets angry, yeah. like really pissed off, he's good. He's good. He's good. Right when, when he gets serious. Yeah, like when he's really passionate and it's right. coming out of him. He did that in Albany when we were. We there. got to see one of those yeah. when it was live, yeah. and he did it uh, briefly. We talked last about night. being raw last week on last week's yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, talked so about boring. it last night. I know, but then when we got home, Everybody I watched the videos. I watched the videos uh, too, and it didn't come across. Did you rewatch it? Yeah. I watched the the highlight the videos. That they post see, online, I didn't watch so. anything. I just the only experience I have is what we saw, and I right. forgot most of it. Yeah, nothing yeah. was really memorable except for the cane thing, and. That was, that was really the good. RKO off the cage. Uh, Randy Orton hit that RKO. I don't even remember event. that. Yeah, that uh, was pretty cool. I you didn't were, drink that night either. So no, I, I got drunk. What yeah. uh, what is this right here? Huh? 
hold on one second, guys. I'm sorry. It and says, that, uh, no, it's it's right here. Oh. It's plugged in to both the wall yeah. and that, but is it going to last? Or It says it's not charging, but it always, it, it always as long it's as it's plugged in. Okay. Is it plugged in? Yes. Then it should it's be plugged fine. in the wall. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. No doubt. So anyway, Triple so H. I can't take it anywhere. It has to be in a plug. Right, right. Yeah. So Triple H says, listen, we're putting an end to all this tonight, and he makes a bunch Play of matches. Playtime's over. Playtime's over, right? Yeah. So he makes a bunch the of matches. The game is over, because the game the is bad. The game, right. Bad right, puns, right. I'm sorry. Yeah, there you go. Well, he used them last night. I had to kinda. get one in there early yeah, on. Yeah, anyway. Uh, so he makes a bunch of matches, and they involve the four guys in the WWE Payback main event, right? So, as he's making these matches, right, he announces that uh, Kane's going to go against Roman Reigns, and yes. Dean Ambrose is going to go against uh, Seth, Rollins. Seth Rollins. Two right? matches we've seen so, maybe a hundred times already. So, Jamie Noble. On TV. No. God bless Jamie hey. Noble. Well, I don't think that's fair. <laughs> I don't think my client should have to go do that and put his title on the line. El Store Overstream. El Store Overstream. <laughs> Jamie Noble. I used to live in West Virginia where people really yeah. talked like that. Oh, oh yeah, no bullshit, I know. Man. Oh, I know. Well, that's how Jamie Noble really talks. I mean, he puts a little extra oomph onto it. Does, during I think Rock. that's his voice. I think he just talks louder, so it's that's emphasized what, more. That's what I said. Yeah. I, he really talks like that, but I think yeah. he puts a little extra oomph on it when he's in the ring. Well, I like that, you know. Yeah, it was but, like uh, I was talking to John Hart in that earlier because I told you because uh, Ronda Rousey right is going to be going to my mall, my yeah. own. Hometown mall. It's called Orange Park Mall. Right. <laughs> uh, right outside of Jacksonville, in a little city called Orange Park. She's signing her new book, My Fight, Your Fight, or something like that. It's a new book she's got coming out. She's going to be signing copies. Doing a little book tour? Yeah. Signing uh, public appearances and stuff. So I'm working with all these people trying to get an interview with her. Mm-hmm. It's going to be hard because she's going to be sitting there signing hundreds of books. She's not going to have time for it. Yeah. But we're still trying anyway. Yeah. Uh, even like you said earlier, dude, if you could get like 15 seconds to ask two questions. Yeah. That's it. I would be willing, like, even, let's just be, let one of our reporters that we have, like, correspondent, because I can't go, stand in line with his book to get it signed, but once he's there, let him have a tape recorder and just ask, like, two questions real quick. Or get a promo and say, yeah. hey, this is Ronda Rousey and you're on MMANews.com or something, something like that. I don't know. I mean, it'd be a fun little like thing that. to have, but I want, like, yeah. something I can get a story out of. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. but uh, I think like one I good question or two yeah. good questions. But no, she's coming to your mall. What were we Park. talking about before I interrupted you? Oh, you said that Ronda Rousey's promoting a book. She's yeah, coming to your mall in Orange Park. I brought that up to interrupt you. It was going to tie into something else you were saying. Oh, uh, well, I was, I was. I mean, we're talking about the matches. Jamie Noble yeah. talking about Jamie Noble, and he comes out, and Triple H basically says, "You know what." You guys are going to be in, in competition tonight yeah. because the two of you guys, you're so goddamn small. I'm talking about West Virginia, something to yeah, do with that. You lived in West Virginia, yeah. and, and I don't know how we got to Rousey. Oh, oh, um, we were talking about the voices and how, like, yeah, right. their voice is real. It's not a put on. It was John Hartnett was one of the guys I was talking to to try and help me get. Uh, he work. He runs the American Top Team gym. Yeah. Uh, he's part of the current season, The Ultimate Fighter, because it's America Top Team versus the Black Zillion. Yeah. So doing Jim versus Jim. So, anyways, John Hartnett, I actually gave him a start. Yeah. Uh, at MMAnews.com. He'll openly admit. He said it today. He's like, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I know this pisses you off, and I'm, I'm sorry. What the hell, Hawani thing? A- Ariel Hawani yeah. and you were going to be taking partners. I know. And I kind of blew him off. But anyway, back but, to But, uh, that. yeah, I was a dick, man. But, yeah, um, I know, yeah. I still am, really. But <laughs> I'm just about getting paid. I really don't care. That's right. I got, like, a select few people I like. You're one but of them. Look what, look what he went on to do. I know. Man. Oh, God. Who, who would have known that? I know. Too? But anyway, but, uh, Hartnett was saying that he was, re- I guess that's why you don't remember. When we called to book Macho Man Randy Savage, it wasn't me and you on the phone. It was me and Hartnett. And he remembered, like it was yesterday, that Savage was washing his dog and said, Oh, your brother, can I call you back? I'm in the middle of washing. And he said his dog's name. I was there for this. Maybe you were on three-way for I it or something. For this. He was describing it. Because he used to book the guests with me, too, because it was a time where you kind of quit. Like, you didn't like Hartnett being on the show or something. I was there for Savage, though. It was a squabble. Or I think yeah. it was just maybe during the interviews, you didn't like being part of the interview. And process. Hartnett probably, right. He would but I the remember the call with Savage because we yeah, could yeah. not understand okay. him. Yeah. And then we had to call back, and his, what, is that the one where his wife answered? No, that would have been, uh, unfortunately, I think that was when Mr. Perfect died. We tried calling, and we got his and wife. And the wife, right? Oh, no, there. it was Ricky Steamboat. My favorite of all time we were trying to get. We got his wife. He was out of town. She said he would. Ask, she would ask when he got back. Right. I and remember our best, from our best interview, I think, 
ever was. that we've ever had was Mean Gene Oakland. As far as news? He broke. Steve Austin Man. was coming back on Raw that Monday. In no, Austin. it was like a month away, and he broke it for us. The, I like remember. A month in advance. Austin, Austin hadn't been seen in a long time. It was during the and you mean took your Gene. ball and went home thing. Remember? Yes. So he yes. was gone like eight months to a year, and he said next month, uh, and he even said the city. He said the date, the, the show, city, he said everything. Yeah, and sure enough, there he was. And because it was a month away, you forget about it. And then when it came around, we're looking at each other like, "Yeah, dude, Bean Gene straight up told us this right? was gonna happen." Right. It's crazy. And, and Bobby Heenan was always great. He, he would always uh, he always say you you'd ask him about somebody, right? You'd be like, oh, "What do you think about this guy?" And he would like run to the nearest toilet. And he would flush the toilet. Ah, uh, yeah, he would. He would that's flush right. the toilet, and he'd be like, it was you hear that? At you hear that? He would have the, uh, what do they call it? Like, I forget what it's called. Like, you say a name, give me a thought, the first thing that comes to your mind. He'd always be standing and next, next to a toilet. somebody that he didn't like, like, all right, what do you think of Vince Russo? And, Hold on a second. Duh, and you'd hear a toilet <laughs> start flush. Flush. He was the man, bro. He was He's not awesome, dead, man. so I'm not he was to say awesome. that. He's know, in bad I shape, know. but he was the man. So... Back to Hartnett. So he's the manager of, you know, with American the reality. Top team. And he was telling you, I, he gave you, well, we shouldn't talk about that, but you know a lot of information that, yes. you know, we're not going to, obviously we're not going to talk about here, but. Um, oh, you're talking about the Ultimate Fighter season? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, no, but, I don't want to get into but, it. But, but, but anyway, uh, so he's he's kind of a big deal too, man. With, with He remembers this show so fondly. Does he? He was talking yeah. about, remember the Buff Bagwell stuff? Oh man, Buff don't like yeah, you to this no, day. I think, man. Harden is starting to kick Buff, his ass. Bagwell still hates you, dude. Probably. I could give a shit now, just the same way I did then. Is his mother gonna come after you? Uh, Judy Bagwell. Uh, Judy. Gonna come get me. Judy gonna come get you. I remember Judy Bagwell. Bagwell remember when there was a Judy man. Bagwell on a pole match in WCW? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bagwell and Boone. We won't get into the whole story, you but can't go on. I'm not man, they had some. Oh, well, well, I think okay. still do. I'll give you the quick kiss. We don't. We don't even talk. Uh, well, you haven't talked to him in years. years. Yeah, he's a, he's a, a, a juggalo? A gigolo. Gigolo. Yeah. Right. A male slut. Yeah. Basically. But what happened? What happened we, between you? No, we, because you weren't involved. And it was yeah, me and Hart and Frank there. called him. <laughs> he got his voicemail. And we relentlessly pranked, like, over and over and over. And so, and it makes me look bad, this story. It's embarrassing to me, because yeah. what happened was, I was only... 16 or 17 at the time. Right. WCW was still around. Buck Be- Bagwell was like one of the top guys, you know? Yeah. And so what happened was there was a competing show, and I won't mention the name, but I'm sure you remember who it is. The fat guy, Rhymes with Bagel. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so yeah. anyways, <laughs> those guys had a show. That they They're hated. still around. Too. They copied our format, stole our idea. Like right after we did it, they tried to start doing their version of what we did. We started all this shit. So did CC. Yeah, so it... it the, the cash, man, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, shit, so did Ryan Bennett. We had him on as our MMA Bennett, guest. oh, man. Rest in peace, by the way. Yeah, he got I me know. my start in I MMA, know. kind of, in a way, just to use me and then dump me. He was killed in, my the, uh, in the car accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very tragic. Yeah. So that's why I don't want to dump him. But he I did s- steal our shit. You were on bad terms but when that happened. We were, other than, uh, the only one I'll give credit to is Dave Meltzer, Iata. But that yep. was a legitimate radio station. I mean, it was an internet. It was like the first serious satellite. Right. Like, well, for the internet, but it was real radio. You yep. know, there was a studio and this and, like, a bunch of different stations in the studio. Yep. And a channel for sports, channel for this channel. We were the first show online, live, guests, and not just an interview show where we would actually put on a show. Right. And the interview was just, like, one segment. Mm-hmm. Like the Howard Stern. I basically ripped off the Howard Stern show and did it online, and it was all about wrestling and God, MMA. We're going back to like 2000. Here, 99. Man. 99. Yeah. 2000. We yeah. were one of the first shows. 2000 was when the shows was going. We were, we were one doing of the first in shows. We hotline. were one of the innovators. But anyways, this copycat right. show, <laughs> we're friends with Buff Bagwell. Enough that they knew his number, because uh, back in the day, the big thing was you would if you had a list of wrestlers' numbers, right. the reporters would kind of trade them. Kind of pass them like, around. Yeah, I'll right. give you Buff Bagwell for, right. you know, Terry Funk, and I'll give you we this. We always thing. used to Yeah, we're trading right. baseball cards. Right. We're trading home home phone numbers of human beings. It's kind of fucked up. And they up, knew your voice. Yeah, and they knew, well, no, what happened was they called, and, and I'm 16 or 17, so it looks bad. Right, right. Because my sister answers the phone. They make the big She's joke. Oh, listen, his mommy's on the phone. It was my sister. Right, right, And my right. sister and my mom do sound alike, not that it matters, but... But, yeah, it was my sister, and she said, somebody named Buff Bagwell, I think the wrestler, <laughs> is on the phone, and he sounds pissed. 
<laughs> and they hand me the phone. Like, hey, Baboon, we're live on the air. Blah, 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 blah. And we got Buff Bagwell here. I bet he hangs up. Watch, oh, guys. God, I really? said, I'm not hanging up. What do you want? You know, Their and, show called you with yeah, that? Oh, my God, dude. Me. And uh, it was actually Hardnet that did the prank. I was just sitting there uh, giggling, like, on hold. With the did you hang up on him? No. I, I took my lumps. I, he was like, what's your fucking problem, man? Blah, 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 blah. And I kind of looked like a bitch, probably. I was like, I don't have a problem, man. I was like, just... Yeah. Me and my buddy were just up late. You're 16. Yeah. You were 16. 16 you're probably like, uh, yeah. And I uh, swear to God, I admit to it now. It's so late right. later. I didn't right. do the prank call. Yeah. I was on hold on three way with Hartnet, and I had mute <laughs> on my phone because I'd be laughing and I didn't want it to come over the the phone. Right. And I forget Hartnet's running joke, but he would do it to everybody. We even did you when you yeah. were in with your pops when we were kids. Uh, dude, dude, my and father. Dad wanted to kill My me. father was so pissed off at you. We, I would, said, we would call I you at like three, four in the morning. It was over three, and over. four, five. In the morning, I said, I said, Dad, I, I, you I can't, can't stop, stop him. Yeah. I said, you just gotta disconnect the phone. I'm not disconnecting my phone yeah. with these two jackasses. Call, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, uh, I said, there's nothing I can do, Dad. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, man. We were friends, then. It wasn't like I was doing that of malice. It's fucking Einhouse, dude. You. It was Einhouse and you, you yeah, yeah, suckers. my old boss. Anyway, all right, we gotta get but back. Anyways, to yeah, they yeah. ambushed me on the phone, and that was that. And that was that. All right. So anyway, all right. So we get off. Uh, we, so we've got the matches set. Uh, yes. Good the, talk the, old stories, man. Ain't it, man? I love talking about old back. W's. Those back in the glory days. <laughs> so they kick it off, right? Uh, Triple H glory days. Say, J and J security. I mean, the two of you guys are so fucking tiny that you make up one dude. So yeah. you know what? You're gonna go and you're gonna face Dean Ambrose. That's who Dean Ambrose faced. Not uh, not Rollins later. Yeah, the Rollins team. faced Orton. Well, Rollins was Orton was the uh, yeah, main Kane event. Kane and Reigns. Kane and Reigns. And then the they event. had Dean Ambrose had James and James. so Dean Ambrose wound out. Pretty much a squash, man. I mean, JJ yeah, security was five happening. minutes. Yeah, it was. It yeah, was all right. Beat him down. Um, they went to the outside, and uh, Ambrose wound up uh, pinning Noble, I believe it was, with the uh, dirty deeds. Dirty deeds. Hit him with the dirty deeds. So we had that. Uh, King Barrett comes out, cuts a promo. What do you think about King Barrett? That window was not helping. I actually missed it. Really, promo. it's kind of cold in here. I was now. making a sandwich or something. King Barrett came out, cut a promo. Yeah, you know, it was a good promo, dude. It was a decent was it? promo. It's always cut a pretty good from promo. King Barrett, yeah. man. You know, talk about King of the Ring. I'm, I'm the new king. Can I have some decorum, please? You're gonna, you're gonna see me every yeah. week now that I'm the king. Blah 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 blah. He defeated uh, Dolph I Ziggler. God, I don't, I've never even heard the word decorum until King. Yeah. Until bad news Barrett would say. I think uh, they had Sheamus on commentary here, and he uh, King Barrett even referenced that coming out. You know, like my good friend Sheamus over there. I'm gonna yeah. make you kiss my ass, something arse. like that, yeah. uh, arse, whatever it is. Because yeah, I think Sheamus got involved in the finish, right? He left the table. Sheamus did yeah. get involved in the finish. Poor Dolph Ziggler, though. It's like he loses time and time and time again. Right? He lost to uh, to Barrett last night, and then Sheamus comes in, attacks him. Beats him up. Granted, Dolph Ziggler got a little bit of offense towards yeah. the end. Uh, made well, a comeback, even, and then Sheamus hit yeah. the bro kick, so he was laid he out. Laid out at the end. So, so at the end, he's laid out. So he gets a little shot. Just like, he, I think it was Extreme Rules. Right. Kiss my arse match. He wins. Right. And yet he still has his face shoved in Sheamus' ass. Yeah. It's like, so they let him win. They let him win, but or they give him a little it. something, but he ultimately looks like <laughs> the dickhead at the end of the day. You know? Right. We have, he uh, wins the battle, they win the war. Exactly. You know? Exactly. We had uh, Eric Harper. That didn't even happen last night, though. Even, uh, I mean, uh, King Barrett uh, pinned Ziggler, and then after it was over, uh, King Barrett oh, defeated he Ziggler. Oh, his arse or whatever? No, but he got, he, it, was, it wasn't like Ziggler defeated King Barrett. Oh, no, but I mean, after the match, he was doing afterwards. the beatdown. Right. So he right. got a little moment, and then they took it from him with a broke kick. Right. Yeah. But he still lost the match. Yeah. That's number one. And, and then he, he got, got a beat down from Sheamus. Yeah. Right. So it was like a double. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Eric Harper and... Uh, this was a squash match. Yeah, Eric Harper and uh, uh, Luke... Uh, Eric... Uh, do I have this wrong? Eric Rowan. Eric Fondango. Rowan and Luke Harper. Yeah, they wrote it wrong. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Eric Rowan and uh, and Luke Harper defeated Fondango. This now, was, was it Luke Harper or Eric Rowan? I don't, I don't even they remember. It's, it's wrong. But but listen, uh, the point I'm trying to make is they're back together. Like yeah, they're two thirds or uh, of the Wyatt family are back together here. Where okay, it was, got I think it was Harper. Harper. Okay. All right. Um, so they're well, back Rowan together. Was there. Yeah. Right. They're back together as a uh, tag team. Fondango. You know, for the last couple of weeks, I'm thinking 
Fun Dongo's on a little bit of a push here. A little bit. It's got Rosa, Rosa Mendez out there with him. They, had, right? they had, didn't have Rosa Mendez leaving for Adam Rose and make out with Adam Rose one week or something. That's what they've been doing, yeah. right, where she so they got... they just kind of dropped that, I guess. Kind of dropped it, and, uh, and that was that, on. right? All gone. Yeah. Um, so that lasted less than a minute, like 40 seconds. Yeah. You know, something like that. We had, uh, oh, this is where uh, John Cena came out for uh, the... This was a good segment from what I remember. All right, good. Um... Time. I was just checking the time. Um, Cena came out, cut his normal promo that he normally does yeah. with, uh, you know, I'm here. Title, fighting champion, Rusev. John, John Cena granted another wish I yesterday know. at Pride yeah. Gotta give that dude props, don't you? He's a busy motherfucker, man. It's awesome, dude. He's always on the run. Those kids will remember that. Think of Jacob, even though he's two years old. Oh, bro, I remember being a kid meeting you know? Esther when I was a little kid. Uh, Absolutely. You know, that stands something. out. Right, if, if you care right. about them, if you don't know, you could be a celebrity as a kid. If you don't know them or care about them, yeah. you'll never remember. But if it's somebody you know and you know from TV and right. you meet them, even if they're two years old, you will have some it. kind of memory of it. I still remember going to Disneyland when I was like four or five years old, man. Yeah. You know, well, yeah. who do you remember meeting, like Mickey Mouse or something? No, I remember going on. There's like a uh, Space Mountain yeah. thing. It's like a roller coaster. Yeah, you know, up. Remember going inside that? Ric Flair was Space Mountain. I never, uh, yeah, yeah. I remember going inside and looking up, and the roller coaster was so high. So I'm not Splash doing Mountain. It. Not going on. What's the Splash Mountain? Did you get the uh, picture taken where you're on the yep, halfway when down. Yeah, went down. Live somewhere. Went to. Uh, it's funny because I'm fat at the time, and yeah. I'm holding my breath because I'm scared. So yeah. my picture, I'm like, yeah, yeah. We went. Wait, we did. We did all of it, man. Uh, Animal Kingdom, Sea World, uh, Universal Studios, Epcot, uh, all did, that stuff. Down we there. did all those except for Animal Kingdom. We did right. the JFK Space Kennedy Center or something. Right. Disney World, Epcot. Epcot's the big ball, uh, right? Yeah, the big, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I think Universal Studios And we did Universal best, Studios. Because that's got all the rides. Yeah, the back Universal of the future Studios. Ride. I lost, yeah, I used to keep stuff. my money in my stock. I lost a yeah. wad, and it's funny. It was a wad of $200 rolled uh, in a big ball, and uh, I lost it. Uh, Somebody in the lost and found said, we found a roll of money. I was saying, I lost a roll of money, hundreds of dollars. Somebody returned it. It was four hundred dollars. So somebody else lost money that was double the amount. And guess what? You took it. I took it. You took it. You scumbag right. motherfucker, man. Broke otherwise. You scumbag. All right. So uh, it basically says that every week I've offered all people. of you would have done the same. Don't lie. No, I'm they little, wouldn't. I'm a little have. kid no, at Disney World. Have. A little kid at Disney World. No parents. You're not going to take the money. You're a teenager. You're acting. No, like I was a teenager. A teenager. I was about eleven or twelve years old. With no parents. It was a school trip. I just told oh, you about the other right, day. I was right. in the school band playing the trumpet, and we went door to door selling Pepperidge Farm yep, sausages yep. and cheeses and shit. And you raised money. She's selling Yankee candles. Is now. she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we raised money, and our yeah. field trip was. And we lived in West Virginia at the time, or Maryland, one or the other. And we all took charter buses all the way to, to uh, Florida, and we had to do a performance of the mm -hmm. band, mm -hmm. our band, school band, and then we got to do all the, the fun stuff. You know, Haley was on the radio the other day. She recorded a song. Really? And it's on YouTube. You can oh. go to YouTube and check it out. It was awesome. Um, so he's can giving she people. Sing? Or playing the sax. No, they had the whole class sang a uh, song because this this past week, last week was uh, National Teachers Week. Uh, uh, so it's also Mother's Day on Sunday. It was my teacher is the best. My teacher is the best. Her name is Mrs. Grill. Something Aww. like that. It was awesome, man. But anyway, all right. So he basically says, "Did yeah, you Cena wish says, Mama a happy Mother's Day?" I called her up. I said I loved her and wished mm -hmm. her a happy Mother's Day. Call my mom. I haven't we, talked to my mom in yeah, like six years. Yeah, I know, years. but you have a different relationship. Yeah, a Happy there. Mother's Day to all the moms. Happy there, Mother's including Day, including my to sister all and, and your yeah, sister and her mother. Sister, my mother, yeah. no doubt. And my mom. I still love her. I just don't talk to her. Oh, Sherry, you make it merry. Anyway. Yeah. All right, uh, so oh, Mary, <laughs> get out of here. When my balls <laughs> tangle <laughs> on your <laughs> face, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, it basically says, uh, every Name week I come out here. that song, and then I'll let you continue. Uh, oh, Sherry? Yeah. Journey. Continue. Uh, uh, -uh. Yeah. I like Journey. I never stop believing. I knew you'd get Don't it. Don't stop believing. Yes, sir. <laughs> you like that. Hey, I'll give it up for you. There you go. All right. So we. Uh, so Cena says uh, over the last couple of weeks, I've offered people like Neville. Uh, I think even Ambrose or something. At one offered point. what? 
U.S. title, open challenge. Ah, uh, yes. People like that. Sami Zayn last week got injured, but he passed later. Right. So, uh... Rusev would attack each guy. Right. So that's open tonight. This is where Neville came in. Uh, Neville came out last night. Yes. And, uh, once again, you know, these NXT guys... a hell of a match, too. Yeah, right. And these NXT guys, like Sami Zayn, Neville... I said it last week on Facebook, right? The way to have NXT guys come in is to put them in matches with big name guys like as long Randy as they're going to look good in the match now if you're going to bring them in and you're going to job them out yeah, in a minute that's then not going to help anybody that's stupid but Sami Zayn last week looked got great. a good 5-10 minutes and there were times okay. where you thought holy shit he's going to pull it off I think he I, I think Sami Zayn right last week got 10 oh. minutes and he last was injured before the match even started last night Neville there it goes we lost it doesn't come right back on, does it? No, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, well, is it? Is you it probably thing? stepped on the thing down there where it plugs in together. Maybe. Is this one taped up? Oh, I don't know. I mean, that just popped I, right off. Yeah, see, I don't see any light or anything like that. Maybe. Oh, wait, here it is. Is it that unplugged? Was unplugged? Let me see if that works. It's back, it's back. It's back, but I, I don't see well, a light on here. Yeah, Is there supposed back. to be a light? I don't know. Oh, man. I haven't used the computer in months. I, we're just going to, I guess. This we're is where it cut off a second ago. We'll see. We'll try to fix it, though. we got to go to a commercial break here you in a second anyway. But, uh, no, I mean, we'll... Uh, Facebook chat. Do my Facebook so that we can do rapid fire. I can put that up. And, uh, I will Hopefully that doesn't like this because this can be. We're almost, we're almost done with, uh, with Raw anyways. So we'll get through Raw. Can we get a Raw? I know Neville and John Cena. No, we're, we're fine with Raw, dude. Because we're almost, I mean, we're three quarters of the way through the show anyways. So I uh, just. Load up my Facebook and then uh, I we'll can't take. Can't log into it, but I'll go to your page. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We'll do uh, we'll do rapid fire in our numero dos and uh, do your live phone calls like we normally do. So we'll be good with that. We also got to talk about Daniel Bryan. That's the only other thing. Daniel Bryan in the main event from Raw. That's all we really need to talk about. But Neville last night on Raw, right, comes in. They went 15 minutes. Is that how long last they night? Yeah, 15 minutes. It was like 14. 39 or something like that was the uh, was the official time but that's a that's another case like last week on Raw Sami Zayn comes in he faces John Cena although he got the loss like you said there were a couple of different times that it, it, you thought that Sami Zayn was going to win and it was the same thing last night with Neville like there were numerous false counts, you know, like one, two, bam, kick out towards the end, and you thought, maybe Neville's got a shot here, but you didn't really think that, because John Cena, they've been hyping up yeah, a Rusev, yeah, Rusev, John Cena, I quit match coming up yeah. this Sunday at they Payback, not and, the King of the Ring, they're not beating Cena, right, well, they're I think not, Cena's whole thing is it's going to last a while, I think so, and I think the guy so. that beats him, they're going to try and make him, make him, they're trying to make the star. titles, I think that's why, we'll get into it in a minute with Daniel Bryan, that's King why Barry. they stripped him. Yeah. Uh, real yeah. quick, some breaking news. Not a major thing, but WWE has officially pulled the May 31st house show in Greensville, South Carolina from the official schedule on their website uh, so that they won't have to rush talent from the Greensville show to the show in Corpus Christi, Texas, which is the same day as the house show, uh, and they're going to be doing Elimination Chamber. Right. That way they don't have to go from Greensville to Corpus Christi in the same day to go from a house show to the Elimination Chamber. Right now, it's the... Uh, so I, right, right before we came on the air here tonight, I we just put it up on WCRonline.com. Okay, um, so it was, like Boone said, Greenville, South Carolina. It's the same night as Elimination yes. Chamber. So, and Chamber's in Texas. So. Now, I, I thought... Uh, you know, raw rating real quick if you want to do that. Do you have the final number? No, I got I the don't. Uh, I got the viewers. Viewers I know it was three three point six eight. Right. Uh, opened significantly up significantly up from the previous week, and would have shown a sizable increase until a big third hour drop. So it dropped yeah. off big in the third yeah. hour. Right. Hours right. were three point eight two million for hour one, three point eight five for hour two. So, so it was growth. Yep. And then. Tanked in the at last hour, 3.39. 3.39, so yeah. it went from 3.8 to 3.8. And that's where kids usually got to go to bed by that's 10, true. you know, that's true. so. 
So so anyway, so the raw report we left you. off. We lost. Oh, we were going to take a quick commercial break, anyways. But the only other things I really want to talk about, like I said, man, with raw is the Daniel Bryan stuff, um, which we'll get to when we come back from the on the flip side, um, and then the main event, which was a really good main event between uh, Randy Orton and uh, Seth Rollins, which we've seen, Can like you, you said. It? Yeah, yeah, that's bigger. fine. That's that's cool. A little that's bigger. Cool. Yeah, whatever. That works. Um, I got the laser eye surgery. I don't know, but vision. sometimes far away. I Good. thought you had trouble. No, but uh, so John Cena wound up uh, defeating Neville here. Uh, Cena cut that promo. It was funny because uh, Cena says, "Man, sounds like yeah, we got some people 15 who." Fifteen minutes, you're right. Yeah, yeah, almost fifteen minutes, man. Tamita Snuka defeated Brie Bella. We had uh, Macho Mandow. They're doing that whole game. What do you think oh of that? God. What do you think about Macho Mandow, dude? Oh. I thought, man, a couple it was of funny weeks ago, at first, but if it's going to go on and on and on, dude, did Sandow not come out a couple of weeks ago and cut that promo where you thought, all right, the goofy shit is done? Yeah. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Well, I'm done with that. Not and the goofy shit, but the over the top goofy shit. Like I thought yeah. he would do the mimicking and the imitating. Right. I didn't know he was going to go back to dressing up like old stars and celebrities and goofy shit like that. They went right back into it, bro. Yeah, and they don't—they already have a match, like a tag match with Axel Mania and, and him versus like the Ascension. Or it's on the kickoff show. Or it's on the it's on yeah. the kickoff show. It's so ridiculous, man. I uh, think I think a couple of weeks ago they had plans for him. And they were going to do something, yeah. and then they got to Raw the next week, and they're like, ah, no, I think they liked the interchange between Axel and Sandow. Yeah. When uh, Axel interrupted Sandow's serious promo. Right, right, right. I think right. they liked the way that back and forth was. And right. Let's do something with them. They're both right. doing goofy characters. Anyway. Uh, and all, uh, real quick, they also pushed the uh, <coughs> Lana baby face thing a little bit. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. fans are chanting for, and Rusev kind of center, you know, and all that. Center away, so, yeah, yeah. Lana's clearly going baby face. Clearly. We'll talk about that more. Uh, we need to take a quick commercial break. Scroll down past the uh, the Mandow and Curtis Axel match. Uh, that went to a no contest. And then the Daniel oh, Bryan Dana stuff. Bryan so we'll leave it off. Here. We'll leave it off with the Daniel Bryan stuff. Okay. Come back on the flip side. We'll finish up Monday Night Raw. Like I said, the only real things I want to talk about is Daniel Bryan uh, coming out. Vacating, uh, relinquishing, whatever you want to call it, same thing. Uh, the Intercontinental Championship belt uh, cuts a promo, so we'll talk about that. And the main event of Raw last night, Randy Orton against Seth Rollins for the and billionth fire. time. Rapid Fire. How can they submit Rapid Fire questions? Gosh, you yes, asked me here and put me on the spot. I guess I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you. You're on the spot. <laughs> you get your little keyboard out, you type in <laughs> www, don't ever touch my finger again when I'm talking. Dot. You want that finger? Motherfucker. <laughs> WZROnline.com slash chat is the chat room. For the rapid fire, we want Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. That's Facebook.com slash. Tried to catch him in mid <laughs> Ah, you didn't get me. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Top post flash for questions and comments. We will answer them in a rapid fire style fashion. An hour numero dos, so please keep it brief so we're not sitting here reading the entire second hour. There you go. You and your phone calls, 518-712-3070. The lines will open as soon as you see our asses back in these chairs. Until then, don't bother calling because the lines will not be open yet. When we come back, we'll be back on the flip side taking your rapid-fire questions, taking your live phone calls, and finishing up Monday Night Raw from last night. You are listening to WZR TV Tuesdays with... Matt Boone. Me. That's him. And Ryan Clark. I'm going to get this stall for a second. I know I have Daniel Bryan in here somewhere. Uh, you got Daniel Bryan? I thought you lost the uh, the playlist. I do, but I got it back to, I tried to stall for you a little bit, but... Daniel Bryan, Bryan. where is he? No, Daniel? Dean Ambrose, Dolph Ziggler. I don't see it. I know I have him. We got a Rollins or Orton. We're going to be talking about that. Yeah, but Ambrose or Bryan was the next thing. Man, yeah, we're going to be talking Dan and Bryan yeah, when we come back. Whatever. I'll, I'll bring up the whatever. raw theme again. Anyways, <laughs> we're out of here. We're going to be back for on, uh, yeah. for now. Uh, we're going to be back on the flip side. Give us about five minutes from now. Yes, sir. We'll be back right after this. Things, I believe. Yeah, from right. Boy, <laughs> you putting the chicken right there for everybody to see. We munched down, Boone and I both, on a uh, nice chicken wing here yeah. during the break. But the, the problem chicken is... Chicken leg. But yeah. Chicken leg. But <clears throat> it's stuck in your teeth, man. man. 
I'm sitting here picking your teeth the whole time. It it's is not professional for radio. It's probably not professional. No, no, but it's it tasty. And we're a professional show, as you can see by our, our backdrop, our, our terrible yeah. backdrop, and our laggy stream. Our great production <coughs> values and our smoke filled room. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so we're back to our numero dos. We're only going to talk. And stuff, we do. We do. Okay, we're only going to talk. Uh, Jacob is dying to come in here. Uh, we'll bring him on at the very end of the show. It seems like he's in a good mood tonight. So uh, if it stays, now. if it stays <laughs> that way, we'll bring him in for the end. We'll let you uh, hang out did with him. Did you put the rapid fire post? I up? did put the rapid fire post up. Uh, it is up there. We can uh, refresh. We'll refresh in a couple of minutes too. Did you so open the phone line to uh, finish raw first. Oh, let's finish up raw. Then we'll open no, up the phone already. lines and we'll finish it up with phone calls. And rapid fire. So, Daniel Bryan, we out. had known um, for about a day um, that Daniel Bryan he was being advertised for Monday Night Raw yeah. in Cincinnati, Ohio last night. By the All way, right. the uh, Cincinnati Reds MLB players were uh, backstage at Raw too. Were they? Uh, for anybody interested, if you're a Cincinnati Reds fan. But um, so anyway, uh, he comes Larry out. Larkin when I was a kid, he and Eric Davis. Barry Larkin. Yeah, yeah I used to have a baseball card of Barry Larkin. I probably still do. It's probably in there. Have tons of cards. Yeah. yeah. I've, have you seen my card collection in there? I think I've seen some of them. Yeah. My mother kept it stored for me and then dropped it off in a box up here, yeah, man, yeah. and I got them sitting in there. I have. I would buy the books with the sleeves. Can I go grab it? Let me. Oh, get, I, I want to show something. Anyway. No, I don't want to. I'm not going to grab the baseball cards. I, I want to show you guys something uh, that I, I never bring it out. Some memorabilia yeah, right. I never bring out. I'm sorry. Talk about Daniel Bryan. Yeah, I will do. Let me bring this I out. I can kill time. I'm a professional. Or I could just sit here and eat chicken. Which would you guys rather do? I can't ask you because we don't have a chat room. But as he was mentioning, uh, during the day we had found out that Daniel Bryan was advertised to appear at Monday Night Raw in Cincinnati. Uh, and as advertised, he did come out and he had a sad look on his face. You pretty much immediately knew where it was headed. Uh, there was always a possibility that he was faking it, and then the big surprise would be fine. And but uh, unfortunately, it didn't turn out that way. And we will finish up the Daniel Bryan story after we find out. Well, it's gonna it's gonna take me a minute because I've got it in this this bag here. Yeah. But uh, basically, the backstory behind this is my father lives out in uh, in Denver, Colorado, and oh, he you went. Showed me this. He went to an event. Yeah, he yeah, went yeah. to an event, and uh, John Elway. Was at the event, John. Oh, do we have the chat room up? Load up uh, if you can get it. Uh, I'd I don't have know. to go to online.com. Right. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. But John Elway was at this event, and uh, they held a uh, a raffle for uh, an autographed John Elway football. And sure enough, sure clear enough. out of the fucking blue, it was only one. Uh, one person got picked, and. Uh, John Elway autographed this football, and my father winds up getting picked as as the dude that wins the raffle. Well, the, John, the John Elway, uh, the John Elway football. So, chat does not want to load. I have Frozen an here. actual football signed. I hope we're on the air, man. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, we're uh, frozen. You know what it is? I think it's the uh, they uploaded the uh, the Java. Something with the Java, you have to run Java it script. Yeah. But so I've got this John Elway, who's a now an NFL Hall of Famer, I believe. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Type yeah. in uh, Ryan Clark. You know my password. The the normal. The, you know. The, yeah, 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 yeah. Ryan Clark. That's but, it. Uh, Can yeah. You use me? Yeah. Capital R. I don't know if it matters, it matter? but yeah, do capital R, capital C. Uh, so anyway, my father winds up winning this raffle, and I'm thinking the last time I got this valued uh, by a sports collector, it was worth like $400, because he's been out of the NFL for so freaking long, and he's a uh, Hall of Famer. Is it your old screen name, or is it the 19th? The, yeah, 19, so you're going to do... Uh, hold on. Hold on, man. Type it in, is it all right? Hold on. Yeah. We'll grab this football. So, so hold on. Show it to me here. Hold on to this football, and then we'll. Uh, We're not opening it up. No, I don't. I don't. I'm not. You can re knot it here, huh? You can re knot it. You don't have to take it out of the box, but take it out of the bag. Let's see here. How long ago did you get this? Uh, this was God ten years ago. Was almost? it the year they won? The Super Bowl. Uh, it was pretty close to it, man. But there we are. So we're in the uh, in the chat room. But yeah, so I never I never take it out of the uh, out of the box. But if you look, 
It's from the Super Bowl 32. Yes, Super Bowl 32. There's the autograph. Football. And then the autograph is, can they see that? I don't know. We can't see the, uh, the streak. Yeah, Turn it down. There you go. You can see it perfect. Can you? Yep. But there's John Elway. And the last time Remember I... the speech when the they won? The last time I had it appraised, huh? I'm oh, good. No, no, no. The last time I had it appraised, it was like $400. And that uh, was, God, that was... Over five, I, six, I, seven years ago. I remember like that because he was one of those guys where he was always a good, the, one of the yeah, best quarterbacks in the league. Yeah, he would never yeah. win the Super Bowl. And I remember when they finally won and they had the big trophy. Right. The coach said in like a very robotic, monotone voice, he said, "This one's for John." Yeah. And he handed him <laughs> the trophy and shit. Well, and John sits up in the sky box at uh, at all the Broncos games now. He sits up. You can see him. Does he? Yeah, he sits in his own sky box. Look at the chat. Are there any sports people? Uh, you're probably going to have to, you know, make it bigger. Make it bigger, bigger. Okay. make it bigger, too. But uh, if there's any sports people that know maybe what this thing would be worth, the last time I had it, it was like 400 bucks, which is, ah. Eh, and I figured I would just continue to wrap it up. I mean, I've got it, like, double bagged and all. This is the first time ever, I think, that I've ever taken it out of this bag. Because I know that in probably 20 years from now, it's probably going to be worth a lot of money. It's a Super Bowl ball. Is that big enough from yeah, a little bigger. Go a little bit bigger, but I know it's got to be worth something because it's an official John Elway. And John Elway's, I mean, when you think of of famous quarterbacks, you've got to think of I don't know John Elway, Joe Montana. I say, is it an actual signature or a stamp signature? No, no, like no it's an actual. It's an actual. Yeah, yeah it's, you, a, it's you, like you a silver are. sharpie. He signed it right there. He said, "Is that an effective uh, value?" They right. think it's a stamp. There's not a stamp. He signed it. He was on a panel. It was a dinner that they were all at, and they autographed. He Why autographed this in thing. The box? Oh, he, he would just go like this. He would just turn it and then sign it. I think his dad right lied to him. Here, look. How old were you? Is that a stamp? How old were you when you got me a stamp? That's not a stamp. Come on. Yeah, but sometimes they can stamp it on. You know. Yeah, but it looks real to me. But it could, yeah, I could go either way. I don't know. Huh. But pretty real. I'm sure so, it's worth a lot by now. All right, here you go. The actual somebody looked it up, and they're unless they're guessing or joking, they're Stephen Grabeck. You can trust him, right? Right, right. right. <coughs> he says four hundred and thirty-six dollars. That's what they said like five years ago that it was about four, uh, around four hundred dollars. So I don't know. I thirty-six. Stephen Grabeck says. All right, I'll, I'll I'll take that because when I got it appraised, and I'm sure if you go to a peanut gallery or a pawn shop, like a sports uh, memorabilia place, right. You get more for it. Oh, I'm sure. Probably get six hundred. Sure. You know. But what do you what do you think in like twenty years from now? I mean, if it's four hundred now, you put on eBay. The older the older it gets. John Morgan, who knows a lot about money, says you might be able to get five hundred dollars or more if you sell it to a collector. And now, right yeah. now, now what about twenty years from now? Oh God, twenty years from now, you're looking at four figures. Then. Well, that's what I'm thinking. So, so yeah, yeah. and I keep it double bag. There's a reason it hasn't I keep been touched, it. You know? I'm taking it out anyway. of the box. Signature's right. not smudged at all. Hmm. All right, so here we go. Let's get back. It's a little cool story for me. It's some yeah. of my shit. Gave the chat time to build up. The audience is growing a little bit here. All right. So Daniel Bryan comes out last night, and God, this was reminiscent of uh, after WrestleMania last year. Last year, you know, uh, comes out and basically, well, at that time, God, Stephanie you McMahon. Drink, you can really smell beer on people. Man. Can you? Same thing with cigarettes, too, yeah. man. If you don't smoke, you can smell oh, it. Yeah. 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 But anyway. Um, um, Minter's Lair says, 500 now or 1,000 in 20 years? Take the cash now, he says. Uh, 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 here's another good point. John uh, Morgan says, 20 years from now, he says it depends on if Elway is alive or dead. Because if he's dead, if he's dead it's a l- it worth a lot more. Way yeah. Up, yeah. yeah. Well, it'll he's, be more, he won't be signing balls anymore. Uh, so that'll be one of the limited gonna, numbers. This is going to sound bad, but he's gonna die at Eventually, some point before so, you do <laughs> why before I do so why not keep it until he passes away Once you get some kind of tragic does, disease or you know something. Jesus anyways um so so Daniel Bryan comes out and I granted at Wrestlemania Stephanie and Triple H came out and stripped him at, and, at and, Wrestlemania, you know, after the WrestleMania. the next pay-per-view right right and they, that they was stripped the thing him. they said they can't have a pay-per-view without the title being on the line and their thing was the title's technically on the line right because you tune in to find out either they're stripping him or he's competing so it was right. on the line in the sense that something was happening with the title and what happened was they stripped him 
Right. But it was so right around this thing. time last year. It was right around, and that's what Daniel Bryan said. Yeah. Everything. That poor guy has the worst. His dad dies. Connor Crusher dies. Terrible, man. Loses the title. Every. Getting it. Even Brie Injuries, Bella. Surgeries. Brie Bella, there was a backstage video from last night. There was a backstage video from a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And she got really emotional. She got choked up. She got choked up yeah. talking about it. And uh, everything that Daniel said during that promo last night was pretty much a shoot. Or the real deal, um, from what he said, he basically said that, listen, the last thing I want to do is stand behind that curtain and hear you guys chant my name and not be able to come out and wrestle. I want to be yeah. out here. I miss this. And the fact and of the matter is... You guys deserve somebody who was willing to fight and a fight champion. to be the champion. He, said, right. he named guys. He said, like Barrett and Ziggler and Ambrose, who are willing to fight and scratch and claw exactly. for the right to hold this title which means something and, and it's going to continue to mean something right? because it needs to be fought for and defended and I can't do so, that right now and, and, and before that he had basically said that over the last couple of weeks I've been going to doctor after doctor yeah. and taking MRIs now, and everything the fact of the matter is is doctors don't really know. Sometimes they don't know, and sometimes they're in conflict. One doctor yeah. will say this, one doctor will say that. It depends on if you're going to a WWE doctor or an, or an outside doctor. No, and, WWE and, doctor, unless you're half dead, will say, hey, tape it up. Right, right. I mean, they're more strict now, don't get me We're wrong. We're go back to the whole CM Punk yeah. thing there. Yeah, my God. I mean? But my question to you was, during Daniel Bryan's speech last mm -hmm. night, at any point did you think it was a big swerve? I did not. I did not. At no point did you think... And I unfortunately thought I was going to have to come out and say, but will I be able to compete and defend this belt? Yes. Yeah. You didn't think that it, was it, happening it at all. It slightly crossed my mind. Me but too, for a split and, second. And you guys know, his eyes. if you're on my Facebook page during Raw, before that segment was over, while Daniel Bryan was cutting the promo, I put the post up that said, man, it's really sad, man, that... People really don't know the future, and they probably of a lot of people don't even believe it. That's how and they probably the trust don't. level in WWE so low that right. when somebody really has something like this, right? Like I remember when Edge retired, it was so out of the blue that I thought it was an angle. You know, he retired in Albany. Well, they did his final send off. They did it on Raw, and then he came to SmackDown and said that I won my first ever WWE World Heavyweight Title right here in Albany. That's right. And uh, yeah, so Albany's had a lot of cool shit happen. Yeah, yeah, and he basically NXT's said gonna that be here either this weekend or next. This Saturday. This Saturday. This Saturday. Um, but but so so basically, and they're still on that football. <laughs> every everything he said last night was that he's been to numerous doctors. They've taken MRIs and they just don't know what's wrong. Do Where you know there are some days, shoulder, his neck, is it a pinched nerve? That's, that's what they're trying to figure out. Like there's there's some days where the guy can barely lift his arm, and then there's other days where it's perfectly fine. But basically, so we don't know the back. source of the injury, but the effect of it is that he doesn't have the strength in his arm that he needs. So I think it's, it's I, I a think danger he, to wrestle because you could drop someone if you don't have the proper strength. Right. Or I I, I think more. he feels okay. He feels all right. But he doesn't but, want to hurt but, someone else. Yeah, you, you don't know from yeah. day to day, and the doctors are trying to figure out. Well, it gives out on them. So let's say you right. go to press slam someone, and your arm just gives out. You drop the guy on his fucking head, and he's yeah, paralyzed. and then and then you're done for good. I well, mean, if that happens, you're done for good, you, but you're in a lawsuit. You just paralyze the guy. WWE right. is going to be but, sued. What, so so what is more important? The health, your long term future, yeah. and your health. They just got married, and they're, they're or, talking about having kids. Or wrestling, but this is a guy that craves he lives wrestling. wrestling. He lives for wrestling. So it is so sad for a guy like that that yeah. you can just tell that the dude has so much passion for wrestling yeah. and wants to be out there. And it fucking I mean, he kills him. He loves the watching that, the, Jap the New Japan. Dude, he loves watching all it, that shit. It fucking kills him, dude. A guy, uh, think about it. He wins the WWE World Heavyweight title. He even said last night on Raw, they weren't going to give me the WWE title. It, it, you guys forced them to give me the WWE title because of your chance and because of you guys getting behind me. And they had no other choice. It was but almost like to he give was me that shooting, title. although I'm sure they told him to say it, but he right. was basically, not basically, he pretty much flat out said, just like you said, it never would have happened if it was up to them. And he's right. They would have never done it. The only reason it happened was because of you. And he's basically saying... Is he wrong? No, he's 100% right. 
the only reason it happened was because the fans refused for it not to happen. They right. were not taking no for an answer. They exactly. were taking yes right. <laughs> for an answer. Right, right, right. And the uh, the authority in real life, the guys who called it, make the shots, they were so, not going to go with them. So he comes back a couple of months ago, and Remember that's when they where hijacked got... the Slammies when they were in Seattle in his hometown? Yep, yep. Like, they had everybody in the <laughs> ring, and they're trying to get something going, and they would ignore the fuck out of it and just chant, yes. Yes, yes, we yes, yes, Brian. All about Daniel. So, anyway, so he winds up coming back, right? And he cut that promo on Raw. Am I going to be able to wrestle again? He's gotten good as a promo, by the way. The answer is, and there was a long pause, yeah. and then yes, 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 right? Yeah. So he comes back. He's cleared the wrestle. Everything's good to go. This is after he dropped the WWE yes. World Heavyweight title. Yes. They give him the IC title belt, right? What well, happens? Won it, but yeah, they gave it to him. What happens a couple weeks after he wins the belt? Unfortunate, man. And that was his goal. They again. knew they weren't going to go with him again as world champion. He had his chance. He blew it. He blew it. He got hurt. Right. Working two matches one night while he was already hurt. He blew it. But they knew he was never getting that spot again, at least not anytime soon. So his goal then became, his realistic goal, let me get the IC title. Mm -hmm. Let me be the flagship performer on SmackDown. I want to make SmackDown mean as much as Raw. And I want to make the IC title mean as much, as close to I can as the world title. I want to bring importance back to this B-level show mm -hmm. and this B-level title. That was his goal, and even that was taken from him. Right, right. Like, he's got it's the worst luck of, man. The worst luck ever, Dad man. dies right yeah. after he wins the bell. And Connor, man. the Connor thing happens. Connor, here, you know, touches uh. his heart, and then he dies right after Mania. And... and the, the yeah, fact it was is, just one after another. You know, I, his I, next bro, you know, oh, God. I put it up on Facebook last night that what he said on Raw is doctors don't know if he's ever going to be able to wrestle again. They, um, he straight what, up said what? he may never be able to wrestle again. So, so if you were Daniel Bryan, I, yeah, listen, I, I, and I know I'm a stubborn son of a bitch, man. Yeah. And if I love wrestling as much as stopping you. Daniel Bryan does... Yeah. I am coming back, and I'll worry about my and health. He seems that tight. I'll worry about my health later, man. But, but let me ask you this question. If you're married, and you're wanting to have a kid and start a family, do you risk your health that much more? Because you're already going to live with pain and problems your whole life if you stop now. That's true. Now, if you have a wife that you're in love with, and you want to have kids and be a family, and you want right. to play ball with your kids and stuff like that. Right. Then how important is wrestling versus your health and family? I went on. A, it I would was, change the odds a little bit. Then I was on a whole different tangent. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking, well, if but now he wants think to, about that. If he wants to have kids, he doesn't really need his shoulders to. Well, <laughs> but that's fucking the I'm family, about family. The family thing. Picture right. Jen comes back. She wants to start a family, and she says, "But you got to give up your computer job." Right. As passionate as you are about your army and this and that, if I want a family, it would be a with, tough decision because like, you love yeah, a girl, you yeah. want a family. This, I mean, I don't know if you want a family, but most people, you yeah, know, yeah, no, I, it I, would be I, a much tougher decision, and that's the position he's in because he's in love with Brie Bella, yeah, he's married to her. They're talking about starting a family. But your health has got to come house. first. Exactly. Your health has got to come. And you first, know, man. a wife will and nag the piss out of you and say you're not risking your health right, for a right. fucking pro wrestling match. I know you'd love it, but. And I, I, put away. I think, in in my in my opinion, I think he is trying to hold out as long as he possibly can before he finally says, "You know what? Yeah. I can't do this he's anymore." He's basically and, fighting. And he's fighting he's what? For a way. Try, hoping yeah. kind of for a, a miracle. miracle. Yeah. yeah, I you know hoping that you know uh, listen. So that's right give now. me give me a couple of years off, yeah. whatever it may Maybe be, some. and let me the let body heals itself. Yeah, let me and see. In a, in let me see in a year or two from now. Uh, that's part of the reason that I mean, this whole thing yeah. led to, like you said well, earlier, a few surgeries. Guys like Dean Ambrose, yeah. Bad News Barrett. They, they, you know. So he put the title down in the ring and walked out and yeah, yeah. did the did the yes thing. Yep. So and that was it. And it was. I thought it was the right way to do it. You don't need Triple H, Stephanie out there again. We've already seen that. Yeah, this they didn't the need to turn that into an angle and, and get right. heat on somebody. That was his moment to be sincere. Sincere, and, genuine. Yeah, say goodbye for now. Mm -hmm. Hopefully not forever. But a very sad moment, it, very real moment. It really is, man. It sucks. Yeah. Especially to a guy sure. like him. A that guy you that know, you know it lives and breathes it and it gets taken from him. And he, what right after all these years of being the jobber, yeah. you know, 
decent guy in Ring of Honor, but a jobber in the business and as a whole. Nobody knows Brian Danielson if you're not a WWE fan, you know. Right, unless you're a big ROH fan yeah. or something like that. So right. he finally gets this superstar <coughs> success, that money that comes with it. He's got the hot wife on his arm. Yeah. He's the world champion, headlining WrestleMania. Yeah. All these great things, and they take it from him just like that. Sucks, man. It hits you, not, you feel for the guy. And he's such, you know? and, and and he's you, such a nice guy. You've watched Total Divas, and yeah, we know yeah. that that's scripted and it's reality, but the fact is, is that even but you've watching seen Total Divas. Shoot interviews and like right, Sam Roberts. Right, shoot interviews you know. and, and it's video interviews that he's you guys have seen online. Even I mean, on he's Total chasing Divas. down burglars and his Yeah, name, you know? even, even on Total Divas, and when they did the press conference after the burglar yep. thing. He seems but so down to earth like even, it was no big deal. Even on Total Divas, we get it. It's scripted. It's reality. Reality show, but just well, the, the, the mannerisms are, that he uses. The even situations on, even, are scripted, but they're still being themselves. Exactly, you know. Exactly. So, and he, for he the comes, most part, for the most part, but the girls, comes, the girls are definitely. Yeah. But and he comes across as a nice, genuine guy, and yeah. it just kills him that he can't wrestle. So, and you even saw during that promo last night there was a, at one point where. He damn near choked yeah, up. He almost cried. You know? Yeah. So it sucks, man, for him. Hopefully, he's able to uh, to come back. And he's a great worker, too, man. Great it's guy. One of the best great workers worker, in the world. One of the very few you. guys that the fans are really yeah. behind now that Punk's yeah. gone, now that this guy's gone, that guy's yeah. gone. Yeah. All right. And then let's just do the uh, the main event of uh, Raw. With Seth Rollins and, all and left, buddy. Randy Orton. Uh, we go to Cesaro, Big E. Nothing right. worth talking about there. And then Orton and Rollins. All right. No doubt. This whole thing led to the four guys in the ring, right? Kane yeah. is standing on the outside, right? And j and security. And he doesn't come in to help Seth Rollins. No, he stands right? there with a chair, but he watches him get his ass beat. Watches him get, get taken yeah, out. So it was Orton and Rollins, but eventually Reigns came out, uh, and Ambrose, and came, Ambrose out, came out, and all three of them are beating down Rollins. Right, and they Kane. get rid of J and J security, and Kane just stands there with a chair and watches. And Kane then something happened from there. What well, happened? and then I think uh, Dean Ambrose uh, hit, hit the uh, oh, he the turned dirty on, deeds on, the on Roman guys. Reigns. Yeah, right. And so Ambrose and then, was the last guy standing in the ring, and Kane was the last guy standing on the floor holding the chair. So they're all in there. They're all, they're all the in there. Guy. And then Dean Ambrose hits the dirty deeds on Roman Reigns, and then yeah. Roman Reigns gets up and hits a spear on uh, on uh, no, Orton or something like that. That happened first. The last thing was it was Reigns gave Orton a spear. Okay. And then Ambrose gave Reigns the dirty deeds dirty immediately deeds. after. And right. Kane stood outside the ring holding the chair. Mm -hmm. Ambrose is in the ring doing his thing, right, and right. Raw goes off the air. And Raw went off the air. So you basically had so school that agreed. You had you had uh, well, we'll just okay. you had all four guys that are in the fatal four way. Yes. They all attack Final each other at the end, yeah. and then Kane on the outside, kind of the, the odd man out, like you yeah. said. So uh, school that agreed. Uh, you know what? Go with forget predictions. I'll go with I'll go with I'll go with a, a B. Minus B minus. I'll go C plus. C plus. Last week's show I'd give a B B minus. I thought mm -hmm. last week's show was good. I thought this. Is, I mean, it wasn't it's a bad go, show. This it's the week. go home show to payback. No, nah, if you're giving me a graded as a go home show, yeah, probably C minus. Really? They did a decent job wrapping up some of the storyline. Well, for the main event storyline. Kind of. That I mean, was, they that did was, stuff with them, but they didn't do anything to where it's like, wow, I can't wait to see what happens next. Not much with Bruce. I haven't seen it either. I mean, we've already... Not much. How much more can they do with that? This is the final <laughs> yeah. chapter. See, I quit. This, is, this whole right. thing is done, like you said, and predicted for weeks now. Yeah. Lana's going to quit for Rusev, turn on him, babyface becomes official. So. Right. Rusev, Lana split. Right. And we go from there. That's kind of right. why that's happening, I think. All right, uh, let's do rapid fire. Man, I'm so tired. I know. Wake it up. Giant. Let's do uh, rapid fire. And you know what? I got one hour of sleep last night. I got about three hours. Of and sleep I got last three night. hours of sleep the night yeah. before. Last two days, yeah. I've had four hours. It's brutal, of sleep. man. All right, X out all this stuff except for my Facebook. So we'll do. Uh, we're gonna do rapid fire and load up the live phone lines as well. Yeah. We'll finish it up. Um, predictions. Chat room's or no? Chat room's gonna yeah. up a lot of. Okay. Yeah, get rid of it. Right. Yeah, so we don't have any problems. So we'll do. Uh, we're gonna finish this shindig up with the uh, rapid fire and your live phone calls. If you guys want to call us up, give us about a minute or two to load up the uh, the phone lines here, and then we'll be able to take a live phone so call. It's five one eight 
712-3070-518-712-3070. Yeah. Phone line's going to be a little sketchy. Yeah. Waiting for them to load here. Let's yeah, see. I don't want the lag, though. I don't want to I don't want to kill the, uh, the stream, you know? It's the, the anyway. problem is I need to update now because it always tries to load the other yeah. and that yeah. takes a second. Right, 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 right. If we have, I don't think we'll have any problems here. Right, 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 right. Oh, we got a new uh, uh, voice message. No, Jesus. And it's, people, is five one nine Jesus. Five one nine Jackie. I don't believe so. Five eight six. Five eight six. Yeah, something. You want to like listen to the voice message or no? Yeah, if you want to play it. How do you play it? Do you know? I don't know. I have no idea. Go, uh, go to the top there. View. Any anything down there? I don't know. Fuck it, dude. Whatever. They probably won't be able to hear it anyway. <laughs> we get, throughout the week, what we're looking at is throughout the week, we get all these voicemails that come in where people are like, hello? Hello? Yeah. Am I on the air? It's, listen to these people and they're, it's crazy. Anyways, get to our, uh, get to our live chat room, wzronline.com slash chat, wzronline.com slash chat. Get in there couple of people in there tonight. Ah, uh, fuck it, man. And if you guys want to call us up, we're going to be taking your rapid-fire questions and your live phone calls for the remainder of the show. 518-712-3070. Remainder? Remainder. Remainder. call from... Here's a voice message. Get a voicemail. Want to play it? Let's hear what they got to say. How long is it? 50 seconds. Caller, you're on the air. What time is it? Oh, caller? <laughs> That's not me or you. Oh, I guess we lost him. All right, well, we're going to move on to rapid fire now. <laughs> All right, first question. Ryan, can you please break down in detail the R Truth versus Sturdy? Yeah, somebody's trying to be like us. Somebody's Who's trying to be like us on our, on our own voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's what we get. People nice. leave these weird fucking Not voicemails on there, right? Yeah. All right, we got a bunch uh, of rapid fire. You know, what we got? Jackie's chiming in here soon. All so. right, so we'll get to it. Uh, what do we got for uh, for rapid fire? Let's Let's take some into questions those. here. We'll we got a bunch of them tonight. Here. We got a decent amount. All right, no doubt. One more refresh and that'll be it. No, we go ahead. All if right. they ain't in, if they ain't in by now, All we're right. good. Well, we got what? Twenty minutes? About twenty minutes yeah. left. Yeah, make it a little bigger here. Yeah, can you? Need that right. bigger. There we go. All yeah. right, here we go. I just read this report, Jay Mullen. Jay Morgan, Mullen like says, I read a new <coughs> report about Dixie Carter telling TNA talent to basically not read and believe anything reported about them, the ratings, the morale. Uh, to me, it seems like damage control. Also, what do you think about DA having, reg DA? having regrets signing in TNA? Who's DA? DA. I want to see Dean Ambrose, but that's not it. We'll what have to figure out with DA and TNA. DA, but I can tell you, listen, I read the reports. Apparently, according to the reports, oh, I and, and I don't know if it's the truth or not, but Dixie held a meeting and basically said that TNA's ratings, um, the, the ratings that are reported on the Dirt Sheet websites are far from what the yeah, actual yeah, numbers are. The <coughs> she basically said that the numbers do not include the West Coast feed, uh, those ratings. It is, if that report very is close. true, um, the numbers are very close. I mean, that would be like WWE saying, well, our ratings yeah. are, are not You're what they're You're off by like 10,000. No, I mean it's re they're very I'm very stuck on this DNA. the numbers the numbers that uh, the numbers that we report on the websites are the final numbers that includes East Coast, West Coast, Mountain Time, Central Time Zone, Destination America, Destination Ah Destination. Do you think America. Destination America has regrets signing TNA? That I don't know if they have regrets. I mean, let's be honest. Destination America is not a very and there's no chat room. I figured that out online. Right, yeah, you did. You did. Uh, I see there's, some there's new questions in there. Let's get to Jackie. Desti and then, uh, De Destination America is not a, a very big network. Oh, man, this uh, is their network. big show. TNA Impact yeah. is the highest rated show on that network. Yeah, so their live run and their replay, they do about a half a million. They may, right, they may have expected bigger numbers from yeah. TNA at the onset, but the fact that they're not getting them, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that uh, the TNA... There. TNA is done with Destination America. I mean, Destination America is going to get rid of them. They're still the highest rated show yeah. on a fairly new network. They're trying to build a network and you're using this to get it started. Exactly. I mean, exactly. Spike TV was built off 
wrestling and UFC, but uh, what were they doing on Spike? Like 1.2s, 1.1s? It was 1.0 was the average. So they're doing a little over half of what they did on a major cable channel on this brand new shit channel nobody even knows exists. I didn't think think that's good. I didn't think we had Destination America. And then they had the live TNA Impact broadcast. I found it. I found it. Last so Friday night, it. it's channel 115. There you go. It's channel 115. But I watched the live impact broadcast. I got to tell you, yeah. the live impact show from last week, that it was awesome. Production? That was a very, production, everything. It was a really? very good show. They were in uh, Orlando. They had, everybody came back. It was like, uh, oh my God, it was, uh, Bully Ray came back. Bobby Roode came back. Uh, Austin Aries came back. Oh, every, every, Velvet Sky came oh, back. Oh, I was walking by. Bully everybody. Ray came out. Yeah, yeah. I remember they had a problem. Yeah. Bully Ray's was only a uh, the other day. a one time deal, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, it was yeah, Friday yeah. night live. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jacqueline, what's up? Nothing much. How are you guys? We are we're doing. doing good. She's so polite. She knows we're talking. She waits. She waits for us Great to call. finish. We're, we're, like we're, we're doing fabulous. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing okay this week. Um, why wasn't Lana featured on Raw when Cena got attacked by Rusev? Man, I gotta tell you, Jackie. I saw that question. I think, uh, I think it payback. I, I, I think Boone and I, or Boone actually, uh, I don't know, I bit my, bit my tongue. Uh, Boone brought it up last week that you know we're gonna have Rusev and John Cena coming up this Sunday night payback pay per view. Lana's gonna be on the outside, obviously. I quit match. I, quit match. I think Lana and and. Boone actually brought this up before I did, and, and I kind of went along with it. Yeah. I think I, modif- Lana, I modified your prediction. Right. You I think, the uh, seed, and I was like, oh, maybe they'll do this with that idea. I think Lana is uh, is going to throw in the <coughs> towel. I think Quit Rusev, on yeah. Rusev is going to be, you know, just getting beat Same up. Same way by she Cena. gave uh, Cena the title yeah. shot. Man, uh, fine, I give up. I quit. I give up. Exactly. Title. Remember that yeah. from, from wrestling. Only this time, right? I think she'll do it with glee. So this time, right, Kinda this like, time, I think she says, we quit, we she quit. She might even drop the accent, take the ponytail down, and be like, Rusev, I'm tired of playing your I'm, Russian whore. I am done. You're and, on uh, your own. Vladimir she, Putin sucks she, dick. And she throws in the, sorry, uh, Jackie, she throws in the towel, and uh, Rusev winds up losing the match. Lana goes on to become a baby face. Yep. She's going to become a good girl, a good diva. She'll now, hire somebody or manage somebody. Now, to what they do with Lana, is she going to wrestle or is she still going to be in a manager type role? That's well, the question I think that you need to ask yourself. She'll pair up with a guy that they want to push, like a Ryback or somebody like that. It'll be a baby face. And a big guy to feud with Rusev. Right. So she's got a new killer that's going to take out her old killer. And then when right. that's over, the question is, do they keep her as a manager with somebody, or does she become a diva wrestler? A diva wrestler. Because I'm sure clearly, she's training, you know. Clearly, Jackie, the uh, the plan is uh, to turn Lana babyface. Yeah. She's going to become... So I Rusev mean, she's and gonna, Lana are split. So. She's going to split with Rusev probably this Sunday. Yeah, that's um, a new favorite couple. And you can tell that's coming just because of what they've done yeah. over the last couple of weeks. Rusev, you know, brushing her aside. She was, aside. She was yeah, She's smiling. doing all this stuff that Rusev doesn't like. So clearly they're going to turn her into a babyface, a good girl. And uh, Rusev's still going to remain a heel. Um, of course. And and Lana is probably going to go, like Boone said, to a bigger guy. Whoever Rusev is going to feud with next, yeah. Lana is probably going to be with that guy. Whether it be a Ryback, like Boone said, or maybe a Mark, uh, a, big guy. a Mark Henry if he comes back, Henry. or a Big Show. Big show is a Dean Ambrose. It could hey, be anybody. Big Show's expected back next week. You do Big Show and Rusev, show. something like that with Lana there. Yeah. But Lana's going to become a babyface and a good girl. I mean, we know that's coming, you know? Well, she's a good girl, all right. Good God. See her at that hockey game? Jackie? My don't me I'm here. I know. Well, that's not the news. Jackie you, doesn't sound happy. That's this not week. the news you want to hear, okay, you know? Jack? But what are you going to do? No, we knew it was coming. No, it's just. No, it's not. It's like, okay. Oh. No problem. They're going to do the same thing what they did with Elizabeth. They're going to have her manage one guy, then go on to the next step, guy, then keep her off TV. I, I've i seen this happen because when they. Yeah. Had Elizabeth. Man, it's just he wrote her a little bit with Snapfire. That lasted what a month. That Elizabeth was gone again. 
I know. Ryan but, doesn't need to but, be with anybody right now. But Jackie, he just we needs to be with Princess. Jackie, we saw this coming. I mean, it's been coming for a, a month or two now. You know, Rusev. Rusev's yeah. just basically brushing her aside, saying, "Hey, get out of my way, stay out of my way." Yeah. So we knew it was I coming. I think the seed was planted when she gave up on Rusev's behalf and gave Cena the title match. Yeah, and, and then I think the, that's where the friction started. They knew when when they did that angle, right. they knew this is where they were heading, and it's just taking time to get there. And not only that, you Jackie, but I can well, I can tell you as we put up on the websites, they have big plans for big Rusev plans. and Lana. Both of them, Lana. both of them are going to be featured on yes. on television in in very high profile roles. It's all, you know, Lana for the Divas division, well, whether whether they have a wrestler. The quote or is whatnot. they want Lana to be the new female face of yeah, WWE. So so they're not going anywhere. They're gonna be on Raw and SmackDown every week. It's just they're actually gonna be good. even though they're they're clearly gonna split up. We know that's happening, let's be honest. And you can right? take comfort that they're still together in real life. And they're still together in real life. Yeah. And and not only that, for but now, when you watch them, when you break up characters on yeah, air stop it usually leads to break up stop it. Does it not? But, yeah it does but but listen listen they're they they bought a house in in Nashville Tennessee and listen they're still going to be featured on Raw and SmackDown just in different roles you know so so you're gonna you're you're actually gonna see more of them yeah. just not together you know I know it's, it's a good thing I, I mean I even realized that the three of us have a lot in common they both like hockey I like yeah. hockey they both like football I like football yeah they they, they like he likes video games. I don't know if she likes video games, but... You know, oh, you've done your research. Ever since... I, I Ever since I first saw them, I'm like, okay, you know... This is like, you know... You just gotta go and talk to these two. And I keep thinking, what if I bump into them somewhere and I'm like... I'm like, hi, how you doing? I, I keep thinking about that ever since the first time I saw them. I even told my cousin this one time. When I first saw them, I'm like, I, when I when I first saw them, I'm like, I told my cousin I like them already, and he's like, whoa, already? That you you've only seen them for about thirty seconds, you already like them, and I'm like, yeah, I do. It's just it, 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 it's like something clicked when I saw you know, them. You know, it's you like, know what, J- Jackie? We, uh, listen, it's it's gonna be a good thing. You know what I mean? They're gonna they're gonna split up, obviously, and we're gonna see more of them on television. So in the in the in the long run. It's gonna be a good thing. It's not gonna be a bad thing, you know. I mean, I mean, Lana's gonna go babyface. She's gonna become good, like I said, and and Rusev's gonna stay a heel, and it's gonna lead to new things. I mean, we've seen Rusev and Lana over and over and over again. We've seen, you know, we've seen it. So change is good. Change is good, and it's gonna be a good thing. It's gonna lead to bigger and better things for for the both of them. All right. All right. All right. Another wh- why? What's going on with the chamber? Because I remember reading somebody on the website a few months ago, Stephanie saying that they weren't going to bring it back because of all those LED boards they have in the sports arenas, now like for the hockey teams and stuff. What's going yeah. on with that? Well, I, I you know the 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 chamber's coming back. Thanks for uh, calling, Jackie. We're going to answer this and then uh, we'll let you go because we got a couple of uh, a couple more phone calls. But have a good week, Jackie. We'll talk to you uh, after payback. Um, the the chamber. I mean, they announced last night on uh, on Monday Night Raw Elimination Chamber. It's coming back. It's gonna be the uh, it's gonna be Sunday pay per view. They've rescheduled WWE live events, so it looks like they're gonna do a full pay per view. It's on a Sunday. They're bringing in the full crew. They're gonna have probably it is a, on a Sunday. Yeah, I thought it was gonna, gonna be another Sunday. one of those like King of the Ring where they no, keep it where just for the network. No, this is on a it's Sunday. A network exclusive show. This is on a Sunday. They're, they're not bringing doing it in. on pay per view. They're they're bringing in the full crew. It's a Sunday. They're gonna have a full card, top to bottom. Talking five, six, yeah, seven matches on the so network. So let me ask you this question: If it's a network exclusive only, what mm-hmm. about the houses that don't have high speed internet, mm-hmm. or the countries that don't have availability to the network? They just won't be able to watch it. WZROnline.com for play by play. Live audio. You know, we're gonna have live audio uh, from the if network. You text play by play if you and don't, live audio. If, if you don't have the network, we're gonna have text play by play, and we can't do video, but we can give you guys audio. Uh, audio. He so comments sometimes. There will be full audio uh, of the pay per view on WZROnline.com. We'll have all that good stuff for you. you so go. check it out. It's gonna be May thirty first. It's gonna be a full pay per view Sunday night, top to bottom, just like any. It's not a pay per view. It's gonna be on the yeah, network. But uh, we're going to do play-by-play like we do for every other pay-per-view. So, good to go. 
Jay Mullen says, read a new... Is this the no, one we already read? No, uh, we're at Mike Butler. Now. Mike Butler, he says, with the Elimination Chamber just being announced, is this going to be a one-hour special like the King of the Ring was, or no? We just it looks that. like a full pay-per-view, man. It's a Sunday night, so it looks like they're going to go all out Here's here. Here's a good one. Tom Nelson, thoughts on the ESPN E60 Amazing special. I that thought show it was, good. was great. <laughs> Um, Adam a Rose. Good look behind the scenes of NXT. Adam Rose got a new respect for uh, for him. Yeah, um, he's got like a whole story, man. Boy, you know, he's know. got the uh, the baby there, um, who's got to be fed through a tube. Yeah, he's um, got like a whole tragedy, which makes it you know, it's weird to see somebody that jovial and upbeat as a character, I and know. then know behind the curtain, like they've got a torturous. But life. that's that's the thing that a like lot Ranger of guys. Alone, he was always partying and having fun, and then behind the scenes, he's a mess. We we yeah. often forget that is. Is, is that, oh well, uh, you and I don't, but yeah. but a lot of people that watch the product, the casual fan, you know, yes. that not the non-smart fan, they see the character on television. And that's all they know. And that's all they know. But when they're off television and they're back at home, they've got struggles just like anybody else. They're regular people. Where they've got wives and kids and, and everything else, man. They, they, and, they've yeah, got I'll families. right now, mid-carders and low card people yeah they're not rich not at all I mean they may make what a hundred grand maybe a hundred grand and that doesn't get you've got grand? travel expenses you've got gas money you've got hotels all the traveling uh, plane tickets which are paid for but families but, and yeah you've got a lot of stuff listen man yeah. you know these guys all have lives outside of of wwe you know and the character you see on television is not the same guy that you see outside of WWE, and a lot of people often uh, often tend to forget that. Um, so Who knows I'm doing the show? Why is uh, Anthony Remy, <coughs> do you think Daniel Bryan will ever wrestle again? Talked about that earlier. Um, I would say yes, but I think his career has been shortened, if nothing else. I would say yes. And I'm not saying yes, definitely. Yeah. If my I, instinct says he will get in that ring one more time, at least. I think, so. I think we'll see him I don't back. think he wants um, to go out that way. They may have to put him on a limited type schedule uh, if they want him to continue to wrestle. Well, That's if he can even do that. And the other uh, thing nobody's brought up is that for him to wrestle in WWE, he's got to pass a certain physical. Physical, So right. it could come to the point where if his passion for wrestling is so that he refuses, even if doctors and the physical and he doesn't pass it, and they say, sorry, we can't clear you to wrestle. Right. He could go back to Ring of Honor and say, I want to wrestle, I'm going to wrestle. If you guys won't let me, I'll do it somewhere else. Now, right. contractually, I don't know how that would work. Yeah. Well, right. they let him out of his deal. Could he retire if he's going to wrestle somewhere else? I don't know the legalities behind all that. It'll but be interesting, man. My gut tells me happens. we will see him wrestle again someday. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Steven uh, Gravek. Steven Gravek says, even though it probably won't happen on Sunday... Do you think Dean Ambrose needs to win the WWE title soon? That actually crossed my mind last night that Dean he Ambrose. Was the one left uh, I mean, I think he's from Cincinnati or somewhere in the Ohio area. As I, mean, I, I believe, Ron. I thought Michael Cole said that Dean Ambrose is the hometown boy, and that's why he got these huge pops last night. Every time he came it out. Ziggler in the no, they're from Cleveland. Cleveland, okay. right? Yeah, yeah. I think Ambrose may be. I remember something about Dean Ambrose being the hometown boy last night. You know night, what, but, Cincinnati? Because uh, he trained with Les Thatcher's. Uh, oh my God! What spider on my fucking thing? Kill it. There it is. And that's a little one, man. That's nothing compared. That to That motherfucker was just crawling on my hand. Then yes. Yeah. Stuck in between my keys there, man. Did you see that thing crawling yeah. on my hand? And that one was about five times as big, Mr. I'm Not Afraid of Are you sure? Oh, well, I didn't get out. I didn't get, I didn't get up. I just but saw Jesus. that, and I saw that one. I got that a web on my hand. It feels webby. That one was enormous. It probably just dropped from the ceiling right under your hand. Oh, well, I don't know oh, where that it came I had to see two spiders at nighttime. Oh, it probably came from this window I still got yeah, open, huh? That, that doesn't window. have a screen, I does it? Why would you leave that open? Sorry. Douchebag. Look at them. They're probably everywhere. That's a dead spider. Can you see him? A nice dead spider. Uh, You're a real uh, ass spider. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. Mmm. Douchebag. Uh, Douchebag. Get out of here. I love me a good spider. Now yeah. it was a snake. Well, I would have freaked out. I like a good spider. Mm. I gotta sleep in here. He dead. He dead. He's probably going for the chicken. That's probably what it was. Yeah. Trying to get across the hand. Yeah, they're looking the good. 
Uh, we well, need like a web coming down from I the window out of my of hand. He was gonna try to go right, right, yeah. right across here to the chicken. Gotcha, uh, motherfucker. The, the gotcha. thing, I uh, <laughs> I don't see Seth Rollins losing that belt yet. Cause isn't the plan when Brock comes back in the summer, either. it's Brock Rollins? Cause that's how they left it. Yeah, I, th- I think Rollins is in for, for a fairly long reign with At the least uh, title. At least Brock, because they have the Brock-Rollins thing already made. But I, I will mean, say this. already set up. I think they tried to get Roman Reigns over as the next big baby face. Yeah, well, they definitely tried. I think Dean Ambrose... Hey, Reigns didn't work. I think Dean yeah, Ambrose... They haven't is, given up on him. They're still trying. They're still trying, but I think Dean Ambrose last week and this week... I think Dean Ambrose is kind of on a roll here, man. He, I mean, if you're going to name... They added him to the faces, Fatal 4-Way... The top baby faces in terms of popularity, you'd have to go Daniel Bryan. Yeah. And then maybe like a tie between Ambrose and Ziggler. Yeah. And and who am I forgetting? There's another one. There's Cena, which is mixed. I guess you could put Orton in there now. Randy, yeah, yeah. Um, There's there's guys I'm not thinking of. Anyway, all right. We're at 10 o'clock Eastern time, so we're going to do rapid fire because we got SmackDown up. Jason Hansen. Jason Hansen. I uh, thought Raw was pretty good this week. I like the idea of a chamber match for the IC and tag team tag titles, team. tag titles. Like mentioned by WWE, who do you see winning the IC title now that Dan O'Brien? Putting the title on the line in the chamber? At the chamber? I haven't heard that. He said, I like the idea of the chamber match being for the IC and tag titles, like mentioned by WWE. There you go. They must have announced that at the I SmackDown tapings that. or... Uh, at the SmackDown tapings tonight, we haven't heard about that, but uh, or on dot com. So that would make it a I much like more interesting match. Yeah, I like that. I like that idea. Something. So how does that work though? If you, so if you pin somebody, which belt do you win? You have to pin the IC champ to be the IC champ, pin the tag champs to be the tag. Maybe champs, there's so. two elimination chamber matches. One's a tag team match. How would you do that though? I don't know. With the chambers. Two tag, team, tag teams in each pod. They don't have enough teams to do all that. I'm gonna have to look into that, man. If if yeah. they announce that at SmackDown, yeah, listen, I don't if know. it's not the plan, I like that idea. Yeah. It certainly ups the stakes, you know, makes the match more important. John Morgan. John Love Morgan. You, bro. Love you, man. He's our thank you. Man this week. Thank you. Fan of the week, listener of the week, John Morgan. Appreciate uh, it. Man. Yeah, thank you so much, man. John Morgan says, Are you guys as disappointed as I am that we'll probably never get the chance to see Daniel Bryan versus Neville now? Man. I mean it's a chance. Awesome match. I still think Daniel Bryan's gonna wrestle one day. I do too. I do too. I just um, have a gut feeling. You know, and I've seen so many great Daniel Bryan matches in oh, Ring of Honor. Ah, yeah. dude, you know? I mean, he was voted a Observer <coughs> Newsletters Wrestler of the Year, yeah, like the Worker of the Year, like 10 years straight. I know. Before he got to WWE. Brian Danielson. Brian, yeah, this year, yeah. he recaps the previous year's winners. Yeah. Like, den- 10 years straight, it was Daniel yeah, Bryan. Right Brian Danielson. Vincent Nugent, are you guys excited for the upcoming season of WWE? Tough enough uh, with the host, judges, and trainers. We've got Chris Jericho on there. Yeah. Lita's coming back as well. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm excited. I think the uh, the panel of judges, hosts, and everything else. Yeah. I wish Austin was the host to do that final thing at the end where he right. brings right. him in the ring. That yeah, that would be fun. awesome with Austin on that. Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's going on? Hey guys, it's Steven Gravig in the chat room. What's up? Steve, What's up, brother? Hey, you got a joke for us or a question? <laughs> yes, sir, brother. I got a joke for you. I'm I'm a little bit inebriated right now, but I'm I'm good. Yes, he's in. Right. That a boy. Yes, all right. All right. just you like myself. Me. All right, very quickly because I know you guys got a ton of questions. Yes, sir. All right, what? Did, all right, what did Jay Z call his girlfriend before they were married? All right, Jay Z called his girlfriend. What did he before. call his girlfriend before he was married? A girlfriend's Beyonce, so it's got a. Before he was is married, it a Beyonce he joke? Called her, uh, his, a, fia- a fiance, yeah, that's right. His what? <laughs> a fiance. A fiance. <laughs> fiance. Like, ah, uh, Beyonce, fiance. <laughs> oh, that's fucking amazing. We'll give him up. Hey, Clark, it's so amazing that it's brutal, brother. Yeah, we How's love him. Have we love him, bro. We love him. Have a good week, man. All right, guys. All right, be you good. Too, brother. Okay, see ya. All right, be good, man. Stevie G, always good for a good always laugh. Always good for a good laugh yeah. and a good joke. Oh, or a lame joke. Cheese is not yours. And not your cheese. Yeah. What do you call fish with two knees? A too many fish. Got a big bada boom. What, what do you call a dog with two oh, legs? Jesus Doesn't matter what you call it. It's not going to come anyway. It's only got two legs. What do you tell a chick with two black eyes? I don't know. Nothing. You've already, you already told her twice. Ah, oh, yeah. No. <laughs> All right. We got Matt Johnson up next. Joke. Someone on Twitter who read JTG's new book noted that he told the story about Punk being a huge dick backstage. We actually put that up on the website. An excerpt Punk from uh, from that. Too, 
basically didn't want JTG to get any offense in their match, wanted to squash him, went into business for himself. It's actually up on WZROnline.com, man. We put that up, a little excerpt from the, uh, from the book. Still has one more sentence. Uh, do you think the stuff that is common, do you think that stuff is common in the business? Kind of lost respect for Punk. It's very common in the it's, business. He also talked about wrestlers' court being held backstage. That's just been a thing forever. Yeah. yeah. Undertaker would usually be the judge. Yeah. The veteran yeah. Bret Hart back in the day. But the thing with JTG and Punk is when you're a top guy and you're in a singles match with sorry to JTG, I know he's your friend, and I don't want to use the word nobody. He's but a low card guy versus a main eventer. It was a jobber, I mean. A jobber versus a main eventer, you don't want it to have an even 50-50 match. you got to establish to the non-fan, you know, the casual fan, this is the guy, this is the guy trying to get to this guy's level. Right. And if it's back and forth and even, it doesn't look like either guy is the clearly if, better of the if two. If you read what So JT if you're punk, real quick, you okay, got to protect your business and right. say, I can give you a spot here and a spot there. But we're not splitting the offense down the middle. But you the know, way I'll call J- it out there and I'll the, you a bone. The way JTG had had put it in the book was the that was, dick about it. was that the match wasn't supposed to be a squash. Uh, and JTG was supposed to get a lot of offense in on that match. And so there were plans for him or something like that. And Punk said, no, 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 no. I'm calling the match. You go out there and you listen to me. Do we know me. around when this was? And this was back in the gorilla position. I don't remember exactly when it was. Was this like before Punk blew up or while he was blown up? I think it might have been before. It was. It was, it was the way up the way JTG the way JTG put it was. It seemed like a long time ago. Before but it's Punk a way was, to protect yourself because you're never right. going to get to that next level if you're right. if you're having even Steven matches with guys like JT one half of Crime Time. Right. Right. You know. All right. Uh, no offense to JTG. The yeah, guy's a no, superb no. athlete. Great guy. Right. Great guest on the show. Right. All right, we've got Jason Hansen up next. And he He's says, uh, did you watch Stipe Miocic versus Mark Hunt? That's you, man. I thought the fight should have been stopped much earlier than it was. What do you think? Uh, I when think was that? This past weekend. I, I think uh, everybody should go to MMANews.com <laughs> uh, for one main reason. There's a photo we've got up, and you'll see it in the news listing, of Mark Hunt's face. Mm-hmm. After the fight, and you know Mark Hunt can take a beating. Mm. You know Mark Hunt, yeah, the big yeah. fat Samoan mm-hmm. guy, mm-hmm. does the walk off knockout. Mm-hmm. Steve Miocic just fought right Junior Dos Santos. They had a war. Mm-hmm. Both of their faces were met. Basically, Steve beat the piss out of Mark Hunt for yeah. five rounds. Wow! And I think they stopped it in the fifth. But right. Wow. What did I think of the fight? Yeah, I think <coughs> they should have stopped it earlier. But with Hunt, you never know because he's got one punch knockout power, and he's known for being able to take. I mean, remember Mark Hunt versus Bigfoot? My God, yeah, that was an yeah. insane fight. Right. And Hunt ended up winning, I believe. Vincent Nugent, if Daniel Bryan really? can't really wrestle in the ring anymore, do you guys think WWE will give him any sort of non wrestler role? I think so. Uh-huh. If he can't wrestle, I think like he'll, he, he would be down at NXT or something I like that see working that. with the guys. I yeah. Jay Mullen. Jay Mullen. Get a long one, bro. Get the long one here. And Jay <laughs> Mullen says, I think I understand why WWE tells talent to slow down in the ring. I mean, look at Brian. He went hard on the indies and continued using, using a similar style a full time in WWE or on a full time WWE schedule, which is not smart and healthy on the body. Wrestling almost every night with WWE versus wrestling when you want on the indies. Should talent alter their styles once they get to WWE? Well, WWE forces them to alter their well, styles. Well, that and the, the problem WWE is stuff. guys like Daniel Bryan who only come in based on their wrestling ability. It's not like they brought him in because he has a great look or a great character because he didn't have either. Right. He was a plain, ordinary, smaller guy. Mm-hmm. Didn't have any unique. Didn't have the beard or anything then. Long hair. He just looked like a young kid, yeah. baby face looking dude. He didn't have a great character. He wasn't a great promo. So the only reason he was even considered though to be was because ten year observer wrestler of the year. Not yeah. that reason, yeah. but because he was such was a great, great worker. worker. Great worker. So when you come to the company and that's what's getting you there, mm. you kind of got to do what got you to the dance. Yeah, but yeah. you do know need to know when to kind of chill it, it down. down a little and that's bit. like Neville save right now, Sami Zayn, guys like that. Important match. Yeah, save it for this. Yeah. You really want to go out, but this exactly. guy is so dedicated. 
that on a fucking house it's, show. It's, it's tough for him to tone it down. He can't. It really is. He, yeah. does, he's, he loves it. Vincent Nugent up again. Uh, are you guys excited with the talent roster of male and female talents for that global force wrestling? <laughs> every time, oh, right, every time right. you scroll down, you're like, is it going to end? Is it going to end? Uh, are you thinking that? Too? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, what do you think about the talent for uh, global force I, wrestling? I, I'll top my head. I know they got the Young Bucks. The Young Bucks, they've got uh, uh, Brodus Clay, Pyrus. Yeah, they've got they're calling him like Murdoch George Murdoch or something. Right, something right, weird something weird like that. Uh, they've got Carl Anderson, um, not Mister Anderson. Carl Anderson's uh, from the Bullet Club. Yeah, and they got Cliff He's Compton. Man. Cliff Compton is in there. They've got um, oh a lot of names are going to pass me by here. Nothing that really. They've got uh, Jigsaw is in there, who's an awesome, awesome, yeah, great like, guys exhibition. and stuff. But nothing that I think like. Is gonna build it. They need a name or two. Yeah, they do. They do. And they and don't they have that right now. Young guys that are impressive. They got Chael Sonnen on commentary. That's right. They got Chael as part of the announce team. As yeah, the announce he's team. gonna be the Jim Ross or like the guy interviewing. People. They said he is. What are what I are they calling see him? him? Doing full time play by play. I could see him being like an. No, but they're, they're gonna tape all the TV in like one night, so he comes in. I'm and just he's saying, I don't know if guy. he has the capabilities to call wrestling matches like like. True. True. I could see him doing the interviews. Yeah. Like yeah. back like being Renee Young. I guess Jeff Jarrett's the star of the company right yeah. now as far Probably as like TNA. As far as names. When TNA first started, it was Yeah. 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 Well we'll that see what happens. Jeff Jarrett team song. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see what happens with uh, GFW. They're still announcing names. King you know, of the like Slap King Nuts. Man. He had some right. of the dumbest right. nicknames and gimmicks. They're going to do the uh, the TV tapings in uh, Las Vegas. Uh, they announced uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. That's right. He's coming to the promotion. So and stuff. Choke on that, Slap Nuts. Choke Remember on that, that. Yeah. That was so stupid. <laughs> uh, what we got here, Lance, Lance Winter. Lance Winter, the quote-unquote gay jokes for the primetime players of <sighs> Daring Young. I'm an ad... I'm an ass man, Vince's jokes. I don't understand what he's yeah, saying. Yeah, the primetime players cut a promo I get last the gist, night. But what is that last part? About I'm the New Age man, Outlaws Vince's last joke. night on Raw. New Age Outlaws, Billy Gunn, I'm an ass man. His oh. theme song, I'm an ass oh, man. God. I saw yeah, it they got last dressed night. dressed up and shit. I saw it last night. They got that cheesy having promo. Having their own personal fun at a gay guy. Like, no, Vince is having. That's this what is I'm what saying. Lance is saying. Vince. Is having his own personal fun. He's getting off on it. Exactly. Not like this getting off, but like he's getting a kick at it. Making fun of yeah. a gay dude without, uh, without outright saying it. Yes. But it's clearly you obvious. Get the option. Yeah. Here's what we want you to do. You can say no, but right. you can't say no. Not yeah. Gonna. You're not gonna have a job. No. If or you they're say gonna no. give you the uh, the uh, what was his name? And they've got that no hate campaign. Oh, Remember God. that? Remember oh, that? The guy, he was on Stern. He killed himself. Gay guy, Chris Canyon. Chris Canyon. Remember when they yeah. made him do the Boy George thing and Undertaker humiliated him? You know who wrote the, uh, out of the closet? You know who wrote the foreword to uh, Chris Canyon's book, right? I would assume DDP. Brian Clark. Brian Clark. Yeah. The uh, everybody thinks I'm Brian Clark. Yeah, Wrath or whatever. Yeah. Adam Bomb. You ready for the last one? Brandon Brown, do you see Ambrose turning heel anytime soon? And if he was to turn heel, do you think he would be good at it? Do well, I we think he would be good at heel? Seen Dean Ambrose is kind of a heel. I, I mean, think he would be amazing. Amazing as a heel. I think he would be better yeah. as a heel than a babyface. I don't think they. I mean, he's kind of a. I mean, he's a babyface now, but he's kind of a heel. With an edge. He's kind of in the Stone middle. Cold Steve Austin. He's Stone in the middle. Cold was always a heel, right? But he was such a baby face because that's what the people liked at the time. Yeah, that's correct. I think he's got that same head. Roddy Piper he was does. the heel's heel, right? But there was a, a large segment of the audience that were bored of the Hulk Hogan "Say Your Prayers, Eat Your Vitamins" bullshit. Right, right. And Piper was so entertaining yeah. and rash and off the cuff that you just couldn't help but like you the guy. Couldn't help but like him. And that's why after a while, when they do the turn, he's a huge fan favorite, right? Same thing with Ambrose. Now, having said that, when the Shield first broke up, I thought Ambrose, obvious heel, obvious top guy. Absolutely. Reigns, obvious top baby face. Rollins, I was scared to death nothing was going to happen. I did, that's what I thought. And as but it turns Rollins. out, Rollins is a great heel, probably the top heel in the company. Yep. Ambrose, one of the top baby faces. In Rollins the is the top heel in the company. And Reigns, right the yeah. one sure thing, is yeah. the one guy everybody's like, eh, <laughs> yeah. piss break. Well, it's because they got him out there cutting Superman jokes and shit. Yeah, they ruined they it Rollins right Rollins off the bat. Hey, listen, brother. Yes. I got one sip of beer left in here. And Drink it's it. barely a sip. 
One sip. Look at that skyline of beautiful Albany, New York. No, you're right. Is that the beautiful. view right there, or is that when you go down the That's street? That's when you head down uh, 787. Oh, I see the bridge, okay. Mm. Make sure there's no last minute good one. Ah! We are out of here. There are a couple We more. are out of here. I mean, We're running late. I, I gotta get smacked down up. I really them. didn't want you to do that. Yeah, I'm not gonna read them all. I'm just skimming to see if there's one more good one. Alright, one more good one. We got one more good one. Slap you know nuts. what? There really aren't any good ones. <laughs> it's all David Hadley. No offense to Hadley, but it's nothing worth it. We already answered a question from Most David of them Hadley. Talked about it, Elimination yeah. Chamber. I, you know, they're gonna do a full show. Uh, uh, does he think the Elimination Chamber may be the start of having the theme pay per views as network exclusives? I think. I mean, like, we will have they add the, the calendar like like every other, like every four months? Will there be an uh, exclusive WWE? I, like NXT? You know what? I think so. I think so. Like, once every quarter, there's an NXT special that's network only. I think so. Once every quarter, there'll be a WWE special that's network only, and then you have your twelve pay per views. Why not? I like the idea. Bring back in your house. It gives you an incentive to buy the network. Yeah. You know, if that's the only place you can see it. WWE Network in Especially your house. They probably see these. Hey, you, you get it? Yeah. WWE Network in, in your, your house. house. You got to watch it well, in your house. With the numbers, because uh, when the Lame. conference calls, the quarterly calls come out, you see the numbers of people still buying pay-per-views. Yeah. They probably see those numbers and think, what the fuck? Yeah. Why won't they just get the network? I what know. they don't understand is a lot of people... Either they don't have availability in their country, or the bigger reason, and that's they, why they're doing it. To your the, right, yeah, it's the and the bigger, yeah, they want those numbers down so that they have to sign so up. So that they well, have. They're to not sign understanding is if I didn't have this computer to work with. Which, by the way, if I ever move out, I'm taking that with me, even if no, I gotta buy, it, even if I gotta buy it. Yeah, no, you're not. I have to. You're not. I'll buy it off of you. Uh, you're not taking. I'll buy it, it off. You're of not taking. It. Well, I'll buy it. I'm not taking it. I'll buy it. You ain't buying but it. But this doesn't work for shit. You can't even watch YouTube videos on that. That's how I can fix is. this up to you run couldn't. like a champ. Go fix it then. I'll fix it. I'll pay you to fix it. I'll fix your face. All right. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm taking that if I go. You're not way. taking it. Yeah. Get out of here. No argument. I'll keep. Anyway, it's Tuesday night, brother. Tuesday night. We are out of here. We will see you guys next Tuesday night. <laughs> 8 to 10 Eastern Time. We want your feedback. Yeah, we we want your feedback. How can they submit feedback? <laughs> For example, you go to Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WCR. That's Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WCR. Let them know what you thought. He'll do more of it. Let, uh, let them know what you liked. He'll do more of it. Let them know what you didn't like. He'll do less, less of it. Just let them know what you thought. For me, oh, Facebook.com <laughs> slash Matt Boone WZR. That's Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WZR. Let me know what you liked. I'll do more of it. Let me know what you didn't like. I'll do less of it. Just let us know what you thought. We want your feedback, man. Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WZR. Facebook.com yes. slash Ryan Clark WZR. That's Tuesday night. We are here we'll every Tuesday, Tuesday. And we'll call it a Tuesday. We are All here right. every Tuesday night from 8 to 10 Eastern Time. Hopefully we get that traffic up for next week. Post WWE payback. Yeah. Pay-per-view. Should be good numbers for payback, hopefully. And we didn't do oh the prediction, God. by the way. But, uh, and stay tuned for the post show where we might have an appearance from a uh, uh, little superstar. Jacob has been begging to come in here. So if he's still nice awake, haircut. he'll be in here. Uh, so stay tuned. We're out of here. Full uh, my boom. That's uh, me. Ryan Clark. That's so see you next Tuesday night, 8 to 10 Eastern Time. WZROnline.com.